Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Bimbo Cat Food. If it's your first time here, a double welcome to you. And also, I love you. I am Luca, and today, why can't I hear any of the game audio? Hold on. That's why. There we go. Today, we're playing something different. We're playing something not new. New on here, I guess. Though not technically. How many Final Fantasy playthroughs do you guys reckon uh, we've started on this stream? And then never finished. Well, I'm not one to learn from history, so we're going to try again. I guess. I guess that's what I'm gonna do. Cause I want to play Final Fantasy 15. It's kind of, it's kind of just the thing that I uh want to play at the moment. Because I kind of just want a good RPG that I can kind of sink my teeth into. And I'm hoping that this is it. Um. I keep trying to play Final Fantasy IX, and I keep slipping off of it, and it makes me very sad. Um, because I know that I will love that game, and that I should love that game, and I'm very laggy right now. Anyway, I want to hit the start button. I want to play a new. I want to play a video game. Um, I'm gonna play a normal, obviously, because I'm not a baby. I'm not gonna play the tutorial, because again. I'm not a baby, and I don't need tutorials. That's <sighs> that's a Game Grumps mentality. I should be better than that. People keep recommending Nine to me, and I keep bouncing off it, even though I am sure I would like it if I took a look, like a month off and played it. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I don't really feel like I got all that much time to play a game like Final Fantasy 9. But then again, I guess I do have time to play a game like Final Fantasy 14, so... I don't know. Maybe I'm full of shit. Hey, who's that guy? 14 does give you different things, that's true. I can actually... decide... What is the sound? I can actually decide to do whatever I want in FF14, and I don't have to dedicate hours to it to feel like I've made progress. Though sometimes I feel like I do. Depends on the day, I guess. And what I'm working on. Like, I've been working on leveling Red Mage. I do feel like I gotta put hours of work into feeling like I made any kind of progress. Yeah, that's my problem with 14 as well. That is that is largely my problem with every uh, MMO I have ever played, is that there's other people in them, and that sucks. And unfortunately, you know what I like to play in FF14? tank which requires a lot of direct interaction between you and other people and in fact the decreed you rely entirely on another person set forth with my blessing prince noctis thank you your majesty take your leave and go in the grace of the gods right Look at this twink. Well, princes will be princes. So much for royal protocol. <laughs> Not like you had to deliver. Yeah, I definitely grass. don't know what that's like having played like an entire year in Australia. Actually, you probably have the exact reverse situation that I was in. 
I fear I have left too much unsaid. Because you're playing from Australia on North American servers, and I was playing. You're one to talk. In North America, on the Aussie servers. that you remain at his side. It's not good, Peng. Indeed, Your Grace. We'll see the prince to Altissia if it's the last thing we see. Yeah, what he said. Hate to break this up, but Kor's got the motor running. Drados, he's in your hands. And another thing. Do mind your manners around your charming bride to be. Yeah, don't be a dickhead, Noctis. Well. Try to mind yours around our esteemed guests from Niflheim. You have no cause for concern. Nor do you. Take heed. Once you set forth, you cannot turn back. You think I would? Yeah. I need only know. Cause you's a bitch. Home behind. Don't know about you, but I'm ready as I'll ever be. Take care on the long road. Wheresoever you should go, the line of Lucis goes with you. Walk tall, my son. That's kind of handsome. Handsome in that old white guy kind of way. <laughs> like Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman's an old white guy. He's pretty handsome. Right? I'm not crazy for thinking that. He was like... He was definitely voted one of the sexiest men in the world. Right? Yeah. Yeah, he's not really salt and pepper. It's just salt. And I do like... I do like salt. Salt's one of those... One of those ingredients I like a lot. Ah. Uh, you should eat more salt. I think we can forget about hitching. Salt's our way good. There. Eat salty Thought food. Eat chips. Were friendly outside the city. Yeah, you can only go so far on the kindness of strangers. You're just gonna have to push her all the way. I've already pushed myself to the brink of death. How many? Get up. Um. On, copyright claims? Do you think I'm gonna south. get on this playthrough? Uh, Jeez. It's like a the car was supposed to move us. Round number okay. guess. Ready, steady. Oh. Yeah, all the claims starting now. What do you, what do you want me to push? <gasps> RT. Oh yeah, this is super. Ah, whatever. We'll let it rock. I'm not monetizing this bot, I guess. Unbelievable. Not exactly a fairy tale beginning, huh, Prince Noctis? Do you think if I keep way. talking enough, it'll like be fine? Or should I try to be as silent as possible through this? So we're not missing any commentary. You won't even notice if we just let go. Pronto! Or maybe I should say some really raunchy stuff in this gap, knowing that it'll get muted. Time to switch. We just switched back there. And it's my turn, Nucked. His turn. I could say some really fucked up shit right now. You rather I kill you with <laughs> It wouldn't matter. Not that I would. We're not going that route again. We were already pushing the fucking envelope. That's not. We were towing the line during the last Call of Cthulhu stream. Literally next door. Looks that way. On a map of the world. The Call of Cthulhu stream is pretty fun. I think we'll probably stream that again this week and finish it. Because we're like... It's not a long game, and I think we're getting near the end of that. That's a neat little, neat little horror game. Oh, you missed all the messed up stuff? I said... Yeah, Hive, I said some shit. I said I said some real I said some real messed up shit. I'm sorry you missed it. We need a car wash, y'all. Hey, 
there. Y'all can Hey, it's Hot you. Lady. Now, which one's the prince? Hi. Aha. Hello, your highness. Congrats on your wedding. Not hitch. Could you be more boobs? Hey, you're groom to be here in Hammerhead. Apologies for taking so long. <laughs> you best save your apologies for Papa. Papa? Well, that makes you. Cindy. Sid's grease monkey granddaughter. Roll her in while they I'm should make more on. Sid's women. Didn't your daddy tell you? She's a custom classic, not some beat up old clunker. Prince knocked. I think uh, yeah. FF15 has shown that the world is ready for a female mechanic. Like they took slash the engineer. What? I guess. You got a long way to go, son. And that slack jaw is getting you nowhere fast. She's going to take a while. Y'all get her in and run along. Yeah, they got Grace. They got they got Grace Howard. <sighs> Y'all heard him. Let's get moving. Right this way. I can't believe her name is basically Goose Howard. No, Geese Howard. Game. Not Goose. Never liked that game. Never any good at it either. Goose is when there's one of him. Hey, girly. Y'all ain't never been out this way before, have you? Go on, have a look around. This will make sure y'all don't get lost. A map. Hello, Catherine. Oh, the one of the ladies back as she pulls the lever. Yeah! I know exactly what you're talking about. Because I also have it seared in my brain. Um... They got Ebony out here. I'm also thinking of the girl from Monster Hunter Rise. Uh, Monster Hunter Rise, specifically Sunbreak, the uh, the blacksmith girl there, is very cute. I think her name is literally Mina, isn't it? Let's have some eats. If you're hungry to see the disc, you can't beat the outlook at Mustafa. The what? Good, but first we need to get there. It ain't exactly up to the disc. And the music here is good. No, oh, oh, I mean, uh, welcome. Hi. I was about to buy tea. Sure. What's a gill? I don't know what that is. How can these guys be so? Sheltered Go that they on, don't man. know the currency of their the world. That seems not right to me. Take care. It seems somewhat silly. Oh. A moment, not oh. we've expended the last of our funds on the repairs. I suggest we confer with Cindy. Well, what? Broken down and oh. flat broke. Adding insult to injury. Old man's in for both after charging They get paid much. in royal scrip? Well, I guess that might theoretically make sense. Yeah. Let's pay him a visit. I guess that would. Yeah. Want to go check it out? What is it? Check what out? Where are you? Oh. Prompto. You think it's really that spicy? Only one way to find out. Well, we can't afford it. Are we getting a Gyaru mechanic lady in the new Mon Hunt 2? Yeah, we are! Uh, her name's Gemma, and she's very fucking cute. I want to look at the stuff they got in the store. Can I go first person? Is that a thing I can do in this video game? Bad game! Wait, no, it said change view. Hold on. Uh. Ah! 
This is my favorite thing to do ever. That's like definitely ketchup and mustard. There. Bean there, jelly that. That sucks. Firefly, that's fine. That definitely looks like some kind of like fancy bottle of alcohol. Uncle Randell root beer. Nice. I love a good root beer. Huh. Oh, that's like a woolly mammoth. I wonder if there's any like interesting references in this video game. Let's see what they've got for sale. We've already brought everything we need. What is that? Junon Super Engine Oil. What does Junon sound familiar? They've got everything here. Isn't Junon a place in FF7? Is that right? Must be at least... I feel like Junon's a place in FF7. That sounds right. Hmm. I don't think they got anything I want here. Anything worth reading about? It's a town! I'm so fucking smart. I know my Final Fantasy so well. Oops. I'm the smartest. She ain't gonna be ready for a while. Y'all need something? Oh no. Hive, I'm sure you'll ask, perform suitably if you are being asked to do this. Oh, now I get it. This must be what Papa meant when he said he was gonna teach them boys a lesson told me he ought to have y'all take care of some ornery varmints that have been causing a ruckus around here. I'd be happy to pay y'all for your services if you're up oh, to the challenge. You want me to How work? All according to Sid's plan. I say we play along. She wants me to work. Not to underestimate us. What the fuck? Does she know who I am? I can't fucking believe this. This one is fucking bopping. Remix of Prelude, by the way. It's fucking good. I like this game. The music in this game, at least, is very good. I'll, I'll take this. But don't go running around after dark. The demons are liable to rip y'all to shreds. Okay. This ought to be enough for a place to stay. Just between us, though. Don't tell Papa. Thanks. I can just, like, set up a camp somewhere. But thanks. We have a tent. And, like, chairs. Better make tracks. Ignis, we're going. On my way. Oh. Well, okay, that is a lot of... That's extra stress to add to a move. Which is already a, a stressful thing to do. Yeah, I don't need tutorials right now. I'm good. Ow. I'm like so good at video games. This is on Windows. This is... The, it's literally called Final Fantasy XV Windows Edition. What happened here? A telegraph pole's been split in two. And not just this one, either. The hell do you think did this? Mm. Hard to say. Natural disaster, perhaps? You sure? Totally. The hammerhead doesn't have a scratch on it. Maybe a huge monster came and knocked him down. It better not be the varmint Cindy was talking about. No, I didn't. Uh, actually, no, I have the original, uh... The original launch on PS4. Um... And it's... 
functional. I remember having a lot of issues with it when I originally played it. And maybe it's just because of where I played it. I know there is, like, a different version of this game that just has little chibi... Oh, no, I think that is in this. I think. I think I can do that. Aww. Well, that's cute. I got it digitally on console, so I, I didn't get any of the, um... Nice little box stuff. I'm not a person that had, finds much value in owning things physically. I also don't have the space for it. All right, we'll be done in no time. Let's get on with it. Yeah, I mean. I think the game was generally underwhelming when it originally released, because it was so, uh, where are we headed anyway? literally not finished. And unfortunately, I, as of this moment, I have a somewhat low opinion of this game, because I played it at launch. And I got what you got when you played FF15 at launch. Um, which is disappointed. Ow, wow, that thing moves fucking fast. What did Ignis do? It kind of felt like Ignis just, like, stood next to me and posed. See, that's more useful. I'm really gonna have to find the weapons that I vibe with in this game. I do like... just sword. Sword's pretty good. Yeah, I mean... This game's weird, right? Because it was, like... Originally, a completely different fucking game. Like, it was 13 Versus, right? And that was... Even before 13 had even come out. This was in development for, like... I want to say... It was, like, it was, like, at least a decade. Which, now that I think about it, isn't, like... That strange anymore for a game to be in development for a long time because games take a really long time to make now. Um, but I think 13 versus like this is like a testament to just like I was gonna say commitment, maybe not because it's definitely a very different game, but I don't know. At least I got something, at least something came out. It's not Duke Nukem Forever where it's like. It's kind of a nothing game. Does this place really only have one at fucking entrance? Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. That's fairly accurate. Uh, mutant dual horn sighting, codename Bloodhorn. Characteristics, red tusks, extremely violent, outstanding bounty on saber tusks in the area. Fuck yeah. Huh? Get out of here. Ah! Dogs. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Smoke too soon. I'm like so guy, I'm so fucking powerful. Oh fuck. <laughs> Never mind I'm being hunted by dogs. That was like a that was like a D D like a crit miss moment. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's fine. I got this. Like I'm so I'm so good. And then you roll a one. You're like, oh, well. Guess I'm dead now. Oh yeah. God, I am like hey, vibrating to, to do tabletop this week. I'm like So we had to skip a week. So I'm like I wanna I wanna I wanna do some bullshit with my friends. 
I have plans that are going to be traumatic. Everyone's going to have a great time. Not yet. Except those with characters who have trauma. Which is all of them. Yeah, I've just been watching a lot of Dimension 20 lately. So I just started getting into that. So I'm kind of like... Boy! I want to play tabletop with my friends. Because... You know what happens when you watch other people play tabletop? You start to get inspired a lot, and then you want to play more tabletop. It's kind of... It's, it's kind of a problem. What weapons are good for what? Oh, is Spear actually kind of cool? Oh, maybe Spear's kind of cool, actually. Yeah, that's who I was trying to parry, for sure. That's definitely... Oh, you didn't give me a... Okay. Rude. We all good? Better than good. Good to go. Hey, who's out there? Hi. Well, and look who's in here. The man of the hour. Hi, Dave. Dave. Right. Been looking for you. Feels weird to play a Final Fantasy game and meet a guy named Dave. Like, this is my, this is my pal Greg. You know, he's in Final Fantasy. Still one mean mud about. Y'all don't look much like hunters, but what do you say? Put that puppy to rest for me. Like this guy named Dave is meeting characters named Noctis, Gladiolus, Prompto, and Ignis. Well, Y'all got guts, that's for sure. Let me tell you where I last saw him. Yeah, like it is still weird to play a Final Fantasy game that is like this modern. You know? It's odd. It's very odd. Like, remember when Final Fantasy was like... It would be wise fantasy? Stop before we set out. I remember that. That was pretty swag. I'm good. Just remember, confidence will only take you so far. Yeah, he's taking a nap right now, bud. It's like... 3 o'clock. Man, actually a 3 o'clock nap kind of whips ass. Maybe Ignis is right. I love a three o'clock nap. Actually, most of my naps do happen to take place at three a at three p.m. Because I get off work at two p.m. <sighs> Sometimes you know I what? Maybe I'll take a nap. Sit inside that beautiful car again. Talk myself Sleeping into it. The day was pretty nice. Napping was even better. Stop talking about napping. You're gonna make me want to go to fucking sleep. Over there. That's it, right? Uh. Oh, yeah, that's yes, a big guy. Run of the mill breed. We'd best make quick work of it. Hey, big guy. What's up? Large lad. Wait a sec. What? Scared big guy? You ought to be too. Things vicious. We're so fine. Sure. Looks tame to me. Yeah. Look out! <laughs> yeah. Show those balls. Nice one. It's not over yet. <laughs> We're gonna fight it, right? Ready for <laughs> uh. The fuck, did he hit? How is this thing only level two? Like, does that make sense? Oh, hi, I'm glad that worked out so quickly. Uh, 
Do a Gladio. Oh, cool. Oh, this is good. Fuck yeah, dude. I like Spear in this game, actually. Spear in this game is pretty fucking sick. Oh, fuck. We're dead. Man, I like how my box is perfectly blocking all of the health. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Hello? That would definitely have come out of the controller if I was playing this on PS4, huh? Okay. Nice work, y'all. By the way, the old girl's looking good as new. Oh, while I got ya. If y'all want to fix her up before you roll out, let me know. <laughs> I, I like the idea that you could fight, like, a massive fucking dragon. Sounds good. But it's been in a cave gotcha. for like most of its life. Completely unbothered, so nobody's fought it, so it's level two. So who's up next behind the wheel? Ignis should take it and never let go. It helps that he can keep four eyes on the dash. <laughs> I this is my, my sheltered I my sheltered level so two arc good. dragon. I need the leg room and back. I have like a mind flayer over here, but he played Tony Hawk Underground 2 in his basement for like five years. So he actually did not get all that much combat, so he's like level three. Hello, Kugi. What's up, Kugi? It's Ang, can you walk around poking the foot with a sword and the overreacts because it's nice to being stabbed? Yeah! Yeah. Well, then it just tries to, like, it doesn't know how to fight you, so it just kind of, like... I don't know. Dozzles you a bit. Nice stroll through Northern Fanaland. Yeah! Yeah, kinda! Kinda, yeah! <laughs> What? I'm in a tree prompt out. I can't see fuck. Oh, it's a big bird! It's probably level two. I doubt that thing has seen much combat. It's in the sky. There's not much to fight up there, right? I think it's gotta be weak as shit. What's it fighting in the sky? It doesn't got combat experience. I guess it could- well, it could be a hunter. It's probably killed a lot of level 1 rats. So it's kinda... It's kinda like those people who get to like max level in MMOs by fighting enemies in the starting area. Is it evening already? Time flies when you're Which you can't really fun. do anymore. I feel like that's not a thing that people do. Because stupid game designers have made it so that enemies Stop giving experience when you're past a certain level above them. It's, shut up. Fuck you. If I want to farm... Uh... Little ladybugs outside Gridania for a thousand hours so I can hit level 100... Let me do it, asshole. Piece of shit. Oh. I like that, uh... Shark... Windmill. <laughs> what is- what is that? Oh! Hammer- it's called- the place is called Hammerhead. So, of course, there's a shark. Otherwise... <laughs> otherwise, the name would be meaningless. It's nice to not have to kill anything. Ooh. Thank you. What 
Like, you can't just name something after, like, an animal if the animal's not there. That's, like, illegal. Sorry about the wait. Ain't she pretty? She's almost too pretty for the road. Sure, dude. She's back. We should all get a picture with her. <laughs> I would have found it really funny if Cindy was in the picture and Prompto was taking it. And it's just like a zoomed in photo of her tits. That would be really, that would be really funny. Oh, and before I forget, would y'all mind making a little delivery for me? Yeah. No, not at all. Perfect. Thought you'd say yes. So I already put it in the trunk. Great. There should be a motel on your way to Golden. If y'all wouldn't mind giving that. What if I said no? That'd be swell. Grandpa, my grandkids. Thanks for the gift sub. Hive. Why do I not have alerts here? Up and ready for the road. Would you care to take her for a little test drive, Noct? Whoa. Big. Where am I gonna put that? I'll put that here. Uh, I'll leave it to Ignis. I don't want to sure drive. I what it takes. I see. I'm a pampered royal. Take the wheel. Hello. Hello. Hello, Rose. Hello, Luca. How's it going? It's it's going. It's going. It's going. That's good. I'm gonna sleep. Have a good night. It's bedtime. Wow. Yeah. Not in real life. Hold on, I should get the stream to you. Uh here. That's what I'll do, and then I will do this. Can you tell me if you're getting, like, game audio? Uh, not currently. Are you tuned into the stream? Like, in, in Discord or the in, in, di in Discord? In Discord, no. Also, it's completely borked. <laughs> there we go. <sighs> okay. Sort of. Um, I'm working on it. Well, if it's like here, it should just work, right? Huh? It should work like that. Uh. <laughs> Unless I just have to have it like, not. Bigified. Let's make it slightly bigger so you can actually see it. Okay, and then... So I'm shipping this from the other PC. Every time you click away to something, yeah, I know. it just shows that's me cause, a, that's cause I'm, like, I'm, shop. I'm working on something. Uh... So you should be able to hear it now, at least. Now I'll go here. That's good? No. What do you mean, no? I can... Well, is there any... Hold on. Was there any audio there, like... There should be. Hello, Cookie. Hello, Hive. No, there's currently no audio. It was really quiet. Cranked it up to 200, nothing. <sighs> OBS, why are you annoying? Hold on. Honestly, I don't even think it's OBS. 15 really just seems to have a fucking well, stick up its ass. I'm just streaming. I'm streaming. I'm, like, it, it being F of 15 wouldn't have anything to do with it. Just because of the way I'm streaming it to you.
But it is weird that it wouldn't be giving you audio. Maybe I need to do it as a... Hold on. I apologize. I did not intend to create problems. Very good. Or at least not these sorts of problems. You always mean to cause some problems. Yeah, but there's problems I cause, and then there's problems caused by me. Okay. How's this? Uh, I can see you fine. You can't hear it at all? Not bad. Not a damn thing. Well taken. Well, that's weird. Well, that means I might as well not do it like this, then. Then might as well just do... What camera is it defaulting to on, on Discord right now? It should be the Elgato. Yep. Okay. Perfect. So you have that at least now. Actually, I might have to reverse it. Or I might automatically do it for you. There. You can at least see the game then. Yeah, that'll suffice. I know what the hell they all sound like anyway. Yeah. Damn. This is a really good shot. <laughs> I made sure I got the Regalia's good side. Yeah, XP in this game is like, you have to rest, and then the experience is applied. It's, I kind of like that, honestly. You missed the opportunity to ask if I was ready to stand by you. I would never ask you that. Yo. I know. Because hey. <laughs> I know the answer. Uh... Hey, Cindy. What's up, tits? Gotcha. If y'all want to fix her up before you roll out, let me know. I customize it. What are your coat do you fancy? Oh, it's like How do you want the wheel? Well, here's what I can do for. Do you want the car to look stupid? How about Actually, we can put Cindy on the car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what we'll do, I reckon. Of course you are. Yeah, that's that's the vibe. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, interesting bits to the game. I want uh, to go fishing. At this point. Soon. How's this? Y'all okay. leave the hard work. To there's me. one really bizarre bit of it for me. Of what? Well, so, here she is. Not just like you too much further into the game. Uh, you get the ability to basically glamour Noctis. Oh, yeah. To look like your multiplayer avatar. Oh, that's odd. Uh, it's... There's some weird dissonance there because actually learning about that bit from the multiplayer... The multiplayer is a colossal fucking spoiler. I've heard of this. Wait. So... Oh, it just brought me here. Right. Well, yeah, you were just fucking there. Where did you think it was going to go? I was trying to go closer to that so I wouldn't have to walk Hammerhead as is like far. No garage ever. You know? One would expect no less of purveyors to the crown. <sighs> I'll okay. miss it once this road trip's over with. Huh? There's no reason you can't pay them a visit anytime. No, Pompto's going to die. I'm sure Cindy will be glad to look after your car. Oh, right. So, that's what this is about. If you need, I could always lend you the regalia. Whoa! Huh. Uh, thanks for the offer, but once we're back in the Crown City, I think I better score my own wheels. Yeah. You're like an adult. You should have your own car, probably. Actually, I could say that to myself, I guess. Yeah. Glass houses, I guess. Glass houses. Okay, the fact that I can do fucking dragoon jumps on enemies makes the lance fucking cool. The combat's so cool. It looks so cool, but it's so goddamn I'm, I'm also just pressing B. 
Yep. Yep. And that's the combat. Yeah, I know. I'm doing it right now. It also does feel very floaty. Like, Noctis kind of just does stuff. Yep. Kind of just does stuff. And, yeah. I'm not brutally smashing these dogs into crystals. That's true. Stranger of Paradise is a better game than this. Stranger of Paradise is a better game in some ways. Um, Most ways. I do genuinely... I'll tell you what Stranger of Paradise doesn't have. Fishing. Yeah, that's true. That's accurate. I guess you can't ride a chocobo in Stranger of Paradise either. Nope. Hmm. Alright, it's losing points. Also it doesn't it also doesn't have Shiva. Let's hit up the shop. Sounds reasonable enough. Um No, uh, it doesn't really have many hot women. Hey, That's like basically us? Kine. You boys eating your fill? Pretty much. Y'all did good. I love going down to like the nearby Wendy's and picking up a bounty to go kill some <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's normal, I'll right? What level are we even? I wasn't paying attention. You boys are a brave bunch. I'm gonna pick up all the. Basically, what I do in FF14, I go, Appreciate I pick up every it. single hunt. I mean, this early in the game, you might Stay as well. Alert. I've never really yeah. bothered doing hunts much in FF14. This sounds really boring. Um, hunt trains make it a lot more entertaining, partially because you're doing it with a big group, uh, also because they go a lot faster. You lost me at big group. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> that's like, that's where you lost me. Because it's fun to be like a gigantic horde of flying cars bearing down. Yeah, on but that's, that's like, that's why I fight Odin, though. To be a giant car? To be a gigantic horde of cars? Well, not a gigantic horde of cars. Well, I mean, yeah, that does happen, too. Hello. What's the... What's the horse one that's, like, lightning? Axiom? Axiom. That's a fun fight, too. Yeah. I really need to fight it more so I can get it as a fucking mount. It's a pretty cool mount. It's a great mount. I'm looking forward to getting the uh, trails. Yeah, the eight million dollar fucking mount. Oh no no no! There's another uh, world fate boss. Oh, is there? Actually, actually, there's two. Oh. Uh, one is in the very last zone. Makes sense. Uh, and then the other is in uh, Chaloni, I believe the area the zone is called. Oh, well, I should actually look into those. The lift the ooh, <laughs> almost said it. Uh, the one in the very last <laughs> zone. The one in the very the one in the very last zone gets is just uh, like aesthetic gear. The one in Shaloni is the one that gives you a mount. I see. It also spawns way fucking less. It's probably not as cool as the mount you can just buy for like seven and a half million gil though. It's it's a flying squirrel. Yeah, that's not as cool. It's not. But it is a flying squirrel. Mm, it is a flying squirrel, that's true. That's a great point. <laughs> Man, these guys have some fucking health. What level? Yeah, what level? We're five. We can do this. We got this. You might also still have, like, the plain ass gear. Yeah, we do. Your point? Gear matters a lot in this one. Well, Gladio, why didn't you attack? Okay, You're just, where are you going? Well, I didn't do fuck all. Man, yeah, wow, they got health. I need to not be here. I 
Ow! You're getting your ass beat by horses. A lot of horses, though. Like, a lot of them. The real fun bit is when the RNG decides to fuck you and just prompts another goddamn uh, random encounter like this approximately six seconds after the last one. Yeah, I don't think I like the sound of that. I love that Prompto's special attack is it's just shooting shoots with yeah shoots, shoots with a gun. gun. Yeah, like, yeah, that that'll probably hurt for sure. Hey Noctis, I figured out that if I pull the trigger, oh my God. a slug comes out of the end of this, and it it'll hurt whatever it hits. Yeah, it seems not pleasant. Maybe we can blind them with this. It's Prompto, you gotta you gotta account for being a himbo. Prompto or Gladiolus? Prompto. Prompto is the most himbo party, I think. He's also, like, the biggest twink. No, Noctis is the biggest twink. Uh, Noctis isn't blonde. True, but Noctis is hotter. Like, he's Noctis is more conventionally attractive. What does Ignis do? Ignis? What do you mean? Like, in battle, or...? What? What did that really... What did that do? I just maybe attack a bunch of stuff. I don't remember what it does, but if you you can look up in the menus to see what it does. Yeah, very unclear. I'm like 80% sure that's a debuff. You also cast like spells once you unlock magic. Yeah. He is your spellcaster. Magic boy. Done. I'm like so if Red Mage used knives. And yet we're all very much I mean, Red Mage can use knives. There are... Rose, I hate to break it to you. There are Red Mages other than the Red Mage in Final Fantasy XIV. You shut your whore mouth right it's now. It's true. No. Red Mage <laughs> is, in fact, in the first Final Fantasy game ever made, and they can use knives. Why do you perpetuate these lies? Isn't it crazy that classes used to be able to use more than one weapon? Could you imagine? What a perversion against fucking Eidolon. I hope these dogs eat you. Eidolon says every person's only allowed to use one weapon ever. And never shall the two mix. We are a single weapon household. Just traditional uh, combat values. <laughs> yeah. Is that huh, is that why we have the Warrior of Light? Because we can use them all? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. The Warrior of Light is also called the Weapon Master. I mean, in FF2. God damn. I sure could go for some cup noodle for some reason. Yeah, I sure. Oh, yeah, you know what? I... I think the I think the messaging is working on me because I was like, man, I could actually go for some ramen after the stream. That would be great. <laughs> and then he said that, and I was like, oh yeah, there was a cup noodle billboard there. <laughs> so I I do just like instant noodles though. Like fuck. What can I do you for? That's just how it works, Cookie. Reminds me of the post about the level 56 culinary and to turn his lower level night. Yeah, that's a good post. That's such a good post. Come on back. I saw that very recently, and, uh, yeah. I love that post. I just did the Kermit nod at it, like, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's how it works. Yeah, that's how, it, that's how it is. Also, you can get more, uh, music to play in your car in the, uh, gas station. Oh, hey, this is where I work. Oh, hello, Stucker. Can you, int Can you introduce me to Cindy? No. Oh, well, fuck you. <laughs> Do that, does the sticker automatically apply to the car? I don't think so. Maybe. So I like the idea of it being Thank like, at the end of our journey, we'll have a bunch of fucking bumper stickers. 
It looks like we're driving a fucking NASCAR car. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, that's what I got. It's... It's like I'm looking at something in UE3, but yeah, it's there. <laughs> God, does everybody remember how shit UE3 was? What a bad time. You try to play any, like, UE3 game now, and it's like, oh, how did we deal with, like, it taking three minutes to load the textures? How did we live like this? How did we live like this? It's like we're living in fucking poverty over here. You should also have some DLC weapons you should be able to I equip. do. I'm not gonna, yeah. though. No. It goes yeah. against- it goes against my credo. SHUT UP, COOKIE! <laughs> that one annoyed me. <laughs> That was a bad one. Oh my god. Why are, you all, why are they not talking? Silent car ride. It's like driving with my dad. They don't talk all the time. Or they'll only do it like intermittently if it's a long enough ride. But we're at we're at the start of the game. This is where the, the game should like try to be characterizing these boys. In the free dead air that we have. They also generally want like you to have a chance to listen to music if you oh. put it on. There we go. No. Look how handsome these boys are. Also, you just get a shitload of music right off the bat from DLC. You get like near I want I want something from like Ooh No No Wow you got the entire Kingsglaive soundtrack? That's crazy. Man, that movie sucked. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's bad. Uh well I guess it doesn't matter now, but Hey, wanna hit up the crow's nest? If you wish to put on weight. Certainly. I mean, you don't have to apologize to me. I never saw any of, like, the... 15... The supplemental 15 content. Yeah. Like, like you know... It's one of those things where it's like, yeah, Square Enix is really good at doing, like, 3D animated films. What they're not good at... Is writing those films. And making them interesting in more ways than just visual spectacle. They really struggle with that. Between 15 and, Kate, and Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom I'm also not sure they're great at telling a story without it having to be strewn across like four different pieces of media. True. Or like six DLC campaigns. Hey, dog. What's the dog doing? What's the dog doing? Umbra, bringing us stuff. By which I mean the dog's delivering a message. Really track ascent. Certainly no. Dog mail. To find us. How do you always know, boy? God, I wish this is how mail works in real life. This dog is FF15's Moogles. Are there Moogles in this game? Nice flower. I don't think there are. I don't remember any. There's not. Oh yeah. I know there's chocobos. There's exactly one carbuncle and it's ugly as sin. Yeah, I know. You see it randomly in photos and stuff. I it was part of a uh, dream demo. Here, it was part of a demo that was basically a dream sure. sequence. That's not all. Yeah, but it, is, it still makes cameos and like photos that Prompto takes the of the day sometimes. It it's also going to appear for you in a little bit. Because I believe you will get it as a summon, I think. Oh. Oh, does that mean that Noctis is a summoner? Uh, kinda. Because he gets a carbuncle? Can I cast stone skin on my own carbuncle? No. This game fucking sucks. Yeah. You know what else sucks? Summoner in FF14. Nah, if summoner's great. Say. I just miss having a tank pet. Done, let's see to like, 
FF14 is really missing a job that has the same appeal as Ranger now. Don't worry. Beastmaster. Yep. I'll have Beastmaster eventually. Hold on a sec, sir. They said it was coming in oh. Dawn Trails patches. Yeah, that makes sense because it's that's uh, the most popular job in Final Fantasy XI. <laughs> yes, sir. The headhunter ought to be around here somewhere. That, that's the Mind best job to do in FF11 that? if you want to solo the game. Well while we're in the neighborhood. Noted. The uh, I think the free the the uh, private server we were playing on doesn't have it though. Well, that's dog shit. Yeah, because we're playing Chains of Mafia area. If you play retail, I should get in the car, shouldn't I? And I got the side quest, didn't I? Oh, I have to find Dave. That's right. There's Dave. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. This is very important. I'm going to sit next to Ronald uh, McDonald over here. Yeah. Broke a few bones in there. Do you remember when McDonald's used to have benches that had a statue of Ronald McDonald on it so you could sit next to it and take photos? Yeah, but then, like, poor people started sitting around them Yeah. We don't want poor. No, like, the, Ronald McDonald is technically anti-homeless infrastructure. Because they can't sleep there, because Ronald McDonald's sitting there. Yeah. Unless they rest their head in his lap. <laughs> you want to play the shitty pinball game? Honestly, it's... So... <laughs> I've played the shit out of that. Why? I don't know. I like it. Cookie, are you suggesting that FF14 add a Kate Sith job? Welcome to the crow's nest. What would you like? Cookie is suggesting they add the mascot job the from uh, Ten Two into it. Oh no, they should add like Gunslinger, like Yuna. There's no wrong choice here. I want an FF Ten Two Yuna job. You know, it still fucks me up that they haven't put Lulu's dress in FF Fourteen yet. Like, isn't that fucked up? Have a look at the menu. Like the coolest Here article of dress, I think, in a Final Fantasy game ever. So cool that Nicki Minaj wore it once. Yeah. Good it's fucked you. up. They put Yuna oh, in there. Uh, yeah, you can get Yuna's summoner dress or uh, Titus's god awful outfit. I want Riku's fit too, to be quite honest. I did it. There is a mod to give you Riku's 10-2 hair. And I like that hairstyle a lot. God, I gotta finish 10-2. I got the Thunder Plains in 10-2 and was like, this sucks. But I couldn't not do it. So then I had to stop playing the game. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I think the closest thing to uh, Yuna's or uh, Lulu's dress is supposed to be it's kind of a stole it's kind of a stole is yes but it's not belts you know what's the forecast clear skies with the temperature rising like a stole is a good replacement or like second up second like runner up but I, if i'm if i'm gonna play like a thaumaturge or like a black mage in ff14 i want lulu's dress I still love the, uh, someone posted a picture of someone getting to level 100 as a thaumaturge. Yeah, that reminds me of back in the day, um, the Super Best Friends had a friend named Billy, who would, would go on to appear in Wooly's content later. Um, and Pat told a story about how Billy played through all of A Realm of Born just playing Lancer. Not playing Dragoon, just playing Lancer. Jesus Christ. I know! <laughs> like, how boring! I guess there is that person who got to... who soloed Palace of the Dead as Conjurer, right? Like, that's fucked up. Uh, the folks who... Yeah, no, the uh, Palace of the Dead folks are a special scary they're, breed. They're a special kind of freak. They are playing a different game from the rest of us. Yeah, well, it goes back to what I was talking about, how, like, you can't really... What's that? 
like if you wanted to, even if you wanted to, farm to max level in a starting area in MMOs anymore. That's not a thing you can really do anymore. Because they put, like, if you get to a certain level above an enemy, you don't get experience from it anymore, right? Like, I think even WoW does that now. Um, Pretty sure. So it's like, MMOs have kind of lost... Hey, I see the sea. So they've kind I of see lost the freak too. a little That's bit. Golden key. Kind of want to go for a dip. You're not wrong, I Catherine. Pat, you're so right. Actually, no. Palace of the Dead folks are worse than Soul Level 1 people. Because depending on the souls, like, you're playing Soul Level 1 can be piss easy. I played through Elden Ring Soul Level 1. It's not hard. Because Elden Ring gives you so many, like, stat buff items. It is very accessible. Like the Rod Soul things that give you, like, plus five in, like, every stat. I would like to do, like, a Dark Souls 1, Soul Level 1. So I feel like that's the game where, like, we need to replenish it's actually a challenge. Gotcha. Legit. But also I feel like that is maybe not the way that I enjoy playing video games. Yeah. I would say that's not a particularly fun activity if you want to enjoy yourself. Yeah, that's like a... Maybe we'll do that around Christmas, because that's what around the time that we do the suffering streams, right? Sure. That's Kingdom Hearts time. <laughs> no, it's going to be Rampa 2 time. No, it's got to be... We got to do Birth by Sleep. Birth by Sleep is the thing we're playing around Christmas. I'm going to... I'm, I, uh, She's gonna be an absolute knockout. And then, oh, that reminds me. When are we gonna play Halo multiplayer? Um, Hello and welcome. Soon. You know, I I will I will re up my sub to Game Pass, and then we will do multiplayer stream soon. We hope to see you again. All right. I, I think Birth by Sleep has too many secret secret bosses. Going off, Catherine. It. Uh, hmm. Maybe the. For maybe in the version that I'm playing, it has more. There's like two, I think. What do you pl you play as Roxas in Birth by Sleep, right? No, you're thinking of three fifty eight over two. Birth by Sleep is the prequel one where you play as Terra Ventus. Oh, which one's the one where you're rock? Oh, yeah, 358 over 2. That's what you said. <laughs> that, that one in the collection, sorry. that's just a series of cutscenes, right? Yeah, it, it to be perfectly honest, as someone who beat it, Welcome it wasn't that fun to play. It's like mission based. It's like mission based and stuff, right? I'm yep. It's like uh, it's like Monster Hunter. Are we? And I mean, it's not a half. Oh, it's not. A, oh, yeah. This motherfucker. Not take you this bitch. The guy that you look at, and you go, yeah, that's a Final Fantasy villain. <laughs> like, I see some guy with dress like this, some crazy hair. I'm like, yeah, that's the bad guy. Like, this is Seymour. I get, I get it. They make those? No. Consider it your allowance. Huh? Yeah. And who's allowing us? A man of no consequence. Oh, yeah, right. There are definitely Reaper oh. Glams that look like that, yeah. Legit. Does Gladio almost have red eyes? Well, I won't or is that just a reflection? I, say we go check it out for I think it's just a reflection. So, he'll be holding the wedding That's Huey Emmerich. Yeah! Villain! God, I fuck. God, Huey's the fucking worst. <laughs> There's any character ever written that I would consider the scum of the earth. It's fucking Huey. That's fair. Just like. Oh. The most detestable character ever. It's actually kind of. Actually, it's funny you should. Uh, you brought up for Strangers of Paradise because I actually remember this game actually does have a fucking connection to it. What? No way. I'm dead serious. What? 
I can't tell you right now, but there is a connection to Stranger Am I gonna Fantasy. fucking meet Jack in Final Fantasy 15? No. Well, I don't fucking care. What if fucking... It's so... Like, it's still pissing me off that FF14 had no collab event with Stranger of Paradise. I'm legitimately surprised it didn't. Yeah, like, it would've been really fucking cool. Sop did have a 15 stage. Yeah, it was like one of the last ones. No, I mean, there's a more tangible in-universe connection than I'm gonna that, meet, Cookie. I'm going to meet Chaos. I'm going to kill Chaos. Under my sources, the Empire, given strict orders not to let any vessels... Not oh, wait! Hold on! Shame if you were late I'm the remembering world. stuff. Right, Prince Noctis? Name's Dino, yeah. by the way. Pleasure. The what was the name of the race of, like, aliens car. in Saw? I not going noticed. At least not by this reporter. Um, Lucky for you, this reporter has integrity. If you want to remain incognito, the I'll Lufenians. respect your wish. Right. For a favor. Okay, it's not what I was thinking of. <laughs> no. You're not gonna get you it want. unless I tell you. Hey, I knew you'd come around. <laughs> Let me Lufenia, see. Lufenia, Lufenia is like that's. Hmm. How did you hey cookie real quick? How did you pull that off the top of your head? Good fucking job, dude. Like this one. Do this and your ship will come in. Don't and the paper. That's impressive that you could remember that so quickly. He's really got your number, Knox. Not like we made much effort to keep it secret. Even if we okay. have, the press always finds a way. We needn't befriend him, but care for a massage. No. <laughs> Thanks. Who are... Oh. Who... He looks sorely in need of relaxation. Oh. I mean... Right this way, please. Okay. Yeah? <laughs> Take damage now. He's a bad masseuse. Pretty bad. Pretty terrible. Thinking about checking it out. How much of Strangers of Paradise did you play? All of it. Oh, I didn't do the DLC. Alright, well that's where the connection would be. Oh okay. Hello? I can't see fuck all. Oh, it is getting dark. We should go make, set up camp, maybe. Actually, there's a side quest over here that I want to do. It's very vitally important that I do it. So, uh, you think in the fairy this one? Hell yeah. Freya back to the Crown City? Nah, no need to rush to happily ever after. Hey, little guy. Wow. Still can't believe. Hey, buddy. What's up? Taking a little stroll? Other games did room? happen, Cookie. That's exactly what happened. You must be hungry. Gato. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Hold on a sec. I'll find you some. El Gato. <laughs> Gotta come up with some cat food. Could always buy some. Oh. Uh, fish for some? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Let's fucking go. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. I'm going. I think I gotta go, like, there? It's the other dock, yeah. Yeah, the smaller one. Yeah, I should actually get back to Stranger of Paradise and do the DLC. I have it, I just... I put it off because I was gonna stream it. Uh, and then I... My PS4 literally isn't in my room anymore. <laughs> it does not... I want to play it, but it does not run super great on my computer, and it doesn't run at all on the fucking Steam Deck. Yeah, I mean, it's not a well-optimized game, I will say that. It runs like God, absolute no. dog shit on the PS4. Which is a shame, because it's really fun, and I would like to keep playing it. It's a great <laughs> game. Okay. Let's do some fishing. Night fishing. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Thanks.
Get fucked, idiot! Ooh. 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 Turns out fishing is kind of hard. A little bit. This is like an actually good fishing mini game too. That's the thing that fucks me up. Yeah, no, it's part of why Island. I like this. Yeah. Like, that's real fishing. Huh. Great job, knocked. That's not what I wanted to catch. I guess I'll have to fish more. I fucking love fishing mini games and games. Yeah, it's people always talk about the fishing mini game in Nier Automata, but it's like there isn't really one. Nah, there's one in a regular Nier. Yeah, that's true. It sucks. It doesn't suck. The game literally just lies about the Yeah, controls. yeah, like the it also lies about like the first quest you get where you have to go fishing. Where it's like, oh yeah, oh, yeah go to the go to the ocean nearby and it's like, okay, there's the ocean right here. No, it's like oh. actually that was just a McElroy that complained about that in his review on Polygon. Also, I don't think you're gonna get any of the edible the... No, I think I have to do it during the day. Yeah. Should probably go sleep. Yeah, that's a good idea. Wow, yeah, just, good. Justin McElroy famously um, wrote in his review that he couldn't do the fishing thing because he went to go fish in the ocean directly next to the guy that gave him the quest when the game wants you to go through a little cave and fish at the other bay. Well, I mean, he might be a good rapper, but Malcolm, that doesn't mean he's good at uh, playing video games. Better make tracks. Is that a Macklemore yes. joke? On my way. Yes. Did you call Macklemore a good rapper? He's not a bad one. Real nice here. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, yeah. I guess. Also, I'm also really confused about this because there's this campground right here. You can turn around, run 300 feet, and just we'll chill at the call. fucking like trailer park. Yeah. Yeah. True. The there's an inn at the fucking resort there at the dock, and it's like five thousand gold to stay there. It's like fucking yeah, it's, ridiculous. It's it. it does. I think it does double your experience though. Sure, but like, that's I'm a lot of money kinda, this early on. Kind of broke right now. We didn't even know what Gil was like. At the start of the day. What are we gonna cook, Ignis? Do I cook a pizza? Let's cook a pizza. I cook a de pizza. He's gonna be cooking a lot of de pizza. <laughs> it's Considering a... the fucking bo the boost. Yeah, gets. it's it's a good boost, and this is free. It's actually DLC. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay, he's not going to be cooking a lot of pizzas. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I hate to be the one to tell you, but yeah, I know that's that's post patch stuff. Kicked my mic cord and it fucked things up a little bit. Oops. Is my mouth move? Yeah, it is. Wait, is it moving because of voice or because my mouth is? I think it's fine. Yeah, we're good. Never mind. Hmm. Did they cook every meal IRL as part of the development process? That's crazy. Hey, I gotta save a picture of this dog. And that. And there's a photo of Ignis. And that, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks, Bad. dude. That reminds me of the crow from, um... What's that ARG? It's like Crow something 64 or something like that. I think I know. I think I know the one you're talking about, but God, I can't remember the name. I'm not saving that. Hey, isn't that isn't what what just my imagination? Hey! Jesus Christ, what was that picture of Claudio? Yeah, I don't know. That's fucked up. 
Holy fuck. Adios, why are you in blackface? There's Carbuncle there. He looks like a goddamn revenant. <laughs> also, I was wrong. Carbuncle looks cute in this one. It's seven, the remake seven of, I'm thinking. Oh, of. is it? Okay. Yeah, no. I'm thinking of Dragon's Dogma 2, where they did us just use FMVs for the food. Did they? Yeah, they did. Oh. I love Studio Ghibli food. I wish Ignis would get off my back. He'd ease up if you could just get up in the morning. Uh, a cure for sleeping in. All right. Crack of dawn tomorrow. We train at the beach. You got it. If you think it'll help. Oh, no doubt about it. You'll feel like a new man. I love videos game. I posted in stream zone chat what the uh, FF7R carbuncle looks like. I can go look at that, actually. Ah! Why does it look like that? That's not... That's not yeah. accept that's not acceptable. It's awful, isn't it? That's unacceptable. That's not right. Kill that thing. Well, the Moogles <laughs> the Moogles are worse. Like inarguably the Moogles are worse. Yeah. The Moogles are also fucking hideous. Come on. Carbuncle just looks like shit. Did you see the uh, baby chocobo in uh, the remake as well? No. Yeah, fucking Mega Mind ass Carbuncle. <laughs> there we go. When you're not busy racing, hold on. No, why, why do they got big heads? I don't know. What is wrong <laughs> with them? I don't know. It's what so happened? Bad. What happened to them? It Who looks did like this? Shit. Who did this? <laughs> Do they not know what a chocobo looks like? It's and you know, it's just the baby chocobos. There, there's regular ones. Why does it have human eyes? I don't know. Like this baby chocobo is giving fuck me eyes. Like I don't get it. It's fucked up creatures. The Moogles are so bad, though. That's the one that pisses me off the most. These Moogles are just little fucking freaks. They look like fucking Madison Square Garden. No, Times New Square so, Elmo. What are we gonna do exactly? We're going Wait, for Times New Square? Nice. Times nice. Square? I, I said I was thinking Times New Roman. Try saying that when your lungs are ripe to burst. Sand's tough to run Look on. Got Times Square, Elmo. There's no better way to improve stamina, and no better time. Ah, uh, yes, it. good old Times Square, Elmo. First thing in the morning. That'll be fifteen dollars for that photo. <laughs> yeah. Race with stakes. If you Here's lose, my mixtape. You have to train with me every day. It's fifteen dollars. <laughs> I can't lose, can I? That there's. The so goal. I think the idea with the chocobo chick is that its so hair is supposed to look like clouds, or Cloud's hair is supposed to look like a chocobo. But it kind of just, it does look like Howard the Duck. Oh my god. It looks like the George Lucas Howard the Duck. Damn, he's quick for his size. Fucked hey, up. You trying to lose? No. There's an item there. Gladio, can we stop? Isn't it? Oh, okay. He don't give a fuck. Oh yeah, I have a limited sprint. <laughs> right, I forgot. You're not doing so bad. But he ate the pizza too, right? Oh, this just made this fucking trivial. The DLC trivialized this. Yes. Fuck you, DLC. Well done, Noct. There's no way Specs can complain when you come back to camp this early. Encrusted in sand. Make sure you act nice and smug when you see him. Yeah, if this doesn't shut Ignis up, I don't know what will. I gotta say, though, it 
it's kind of nice at this hour. That looks like some FF14 shit. From this. That's good enough for me. This is FF14. That'd be made of like glowing go. crystal. Good hustle. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> I'm awesome. Why does the Moogle look like someone took a koala, dipped it in white paint, and put a skin cap on its head to hide its real ears, and then on top of that, put it on a bare headband? <laughs> yeah, great question. It does look like that. You're right. Oh. It's a very accurate description of what the Moogles in FF7 Remake look like. Very descriptive, but accurate. I hate them. It's especially bad, considering, like, the fucking FF14 Moogles are so fucking cute. They're also fucking bastards, but they're really cute. And the fucking FF9 Moogles, where you do, like, a little... You do a bunch of male quests for them. They're pretty cute. Yeah. <clears throat> as long as they're not the ones in the, uh... Churning mist. Oh, yeah, there is a fucking. Yeah, those ones are bastards. And I have done their entire fucking society quest. I did the Namazu too, for that matter. The Namazu also suck. I should do this. Yeah, but I like. I wound up liking the Namazu by the end. Let's hit it. Yes, Cookie. Evolution Moogles. Are the best Moogles. Like by the end of their uh, quest line, they they the little bastards actually. Do yeah, the they're good. They're good at the end. Right about your lack of but the Mazu are also interesting little dudes. Like you get a cat collar for finishing their sub their quest though, so like glad it's, it's worth doing. Down. The mountain you get is good too. I wish I could get the gold version. There's a gold version. Uh huh. How do you get it? Fifty mil. Oh yeah, no. Nah, -uh. I got the uh, gold Magitek armor yesterday. Nice. Yeah. It's taken a while, but isn't there a way to dye the iron Magitek armor, or this normal Magitek armor? Nope. No? Hmm. You sure we're in the right spot? According to the map. Let's scope it out. So I kind of just want pink Magitek armor as a mount. You're going to be looking at crime tools for that. Dang. Crime tools are pretty cool. Extremely handy. Actually, is there a... Is there a patch today, or is it next week? Uh... 7.05 is coming soon, I know, because I got a warning last time I logged in. The 30th. 30th? Oh, so that's... Yeah, tomorrow. tomorrow. Okay. I guess technically tonight, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. I guess I won't be leveling Red Mage tonight. It's like the last, it's the last thing I have to level until I can do all the fucking roll quests and I'm thrilled. Though, you know what I've noticed? Healer is a really good thing to play if you want to get through a queue quick and do very little work. Because tank way, is a lot of work. Sure. Basically, any time yeah, you play tank. Healer, pop regen on the tank and you're good. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Maintenance starts in four hours. Oh, yeah. I'm not leveling med mage tonight. Yeah, no. I, I jumped into uh, Cinder Drift for the first time yesterday. And I was like, well, I don't want to queue as DPS. But I also don't want to be a tank. And I did healer, and it's like, oh, that's like the perfect use case for being a healer. Also, Cinder Drift just fucking kicks ass. Cinder Drift is fucking cool. Look who it is. It's so good. <laughs> yeah, seeing fucking you know who come out of you know what 
in the second yep. phase is like the coolest fucking shit. I like that too. <laughs> Can't seem to catch a break. And also the implications of how you, of what of how you know who looks. Wait, uh -huh. Is interesting. Tag. Us hunters keep them on our person at all times as identification. What? In case you forget who you but are. But also, it's really cool no how that no one else is. Forgets who they were. It, it also no mirrors the fight that you do in Coils Sometimes of Bahamut with that person as well. Which is kind of. I feel like I'm safe because Cookie definitely hasn't done Coils of Bahamut. As it were, I came out here to do just that. Like, the second phase of that fight is basically that fight. And it's cool. Yep. It's great. You do me a favor and send them my way. Yeah. Sure. You have not we done Coils of Bahamut, Cookie. These parts. I don't believe you. He'll point you in the right direction. There's no way. <laughs> Those tags are heavy stuff. They What's the cool the thing that Louis Swad does at the end of Coils of Bahamut, then? The that you see in a cool full CG cutscene. following up on that hot tip. If anybody tells me they've done Coils of Bahamut, I just, I don't believe them, because nobody does it. Welcome. It's, it's hardly worth doing. So what would you like to know? I guess you do get the Domatrix title for the Savage version, so it is kind of worth doing. Because people like that title a lot. Coils of Bahamas. Ah, oh, they sure do. Very, very different raid. It's Island Sanctuary. That's just Allo Allo Island. <laughs> hey, can you solo Eureka and Baja? No. 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 I mean, technically, you can solo most of Eureka, but it's a mind-bendingly slow-ass track. If I were to want to do Eureka, would anybody within oh, yes. the sound of my voice want to also do it? I do need to finish it up. I have never... I've done, like... I think I did a tiny bit of Baja when it came out. So, and I, I don't even know what that... I can't even remember what that gameplay even looks like. I know it has like its own leveling right. system. Ba Baja's more or less. <clears throat> it's kind of it's basically Eureka Light. It right. Came from there. Um, it's not the most difficult thing in the world, but it does definitely go by faster with other people. But so Baja uh, is so is like soloable that. Well, there's two activities to uh, progress and then finish Baja that require people. I see. Eureka is technically soloable up until the very last part, at which point it's not even just that you need oh! people. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I'm not going that way. Ah. It's not even that you. Go, go on, go on. The final activity in Eureka is a. Uh, it's. Savage Alliance raid called Baldessian Arsenal. Oh, it is. This creature is known as it is extremely Oscar. difficult. Uh -huh. Requires a large amount of people Dude. and a level of coordination that you're not going to get from just random. Oh, okay. So matchmaking wouldn't be good for it then. Uh, at this point, um, Baldessian Arsenal runs are handled primarily through various discords. Yeah, that makes sense. And that's an alliance raid. That's 24 people. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's an unofficial alliance. This sounds like you're having fun. Okay. Choir's 24 people. Um, okay. It's it, it. And the actual fights are fairly difficult. Right. It's about the it's the only it is the only piece of content in the game that comes with a warning. Oh, well, wow. 
It's that difficult? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow. Found one already, huh? You done I don't think. Yeah, I've. I don't. The pieces, I guess. I don't think I've played anything difficult enough in the game that I feel like it should have a warning. I've done like I've done all of them. I've done most of the raids. I guess I haven't done. But if I let that keep me from I pirates. sent you the disclaimer over DM that you have to agree to before we're going in. That's why I tell all my hunters to collect any tag they see, and I expect you boys to go. Wow. Okay. It's it's that hardcore that it's like, hey, this shit's hard. It is a bastard. Like it like the warning is literally this shit's hard. You're gonna have to, like, really do it and, like, really have teamwork and, like, wow. There is no, like, just powering through Baldessian Arsenal. You need to know what you're doing. Wow. It's, I would say it's savage level, Catherine, but it's savage level for an alliance raid amount of people. Yeah. So that's, like, wow, that's really extra. Not to mention, for the most part, with one major exception, Everything in order. you're one and done. Mm -hmm. If you die in the raid, barring a uh, midpoint in Baldessian Arsenal... Um, you stay dead? You get kicked out. Holy shit! That's fucked! Truly small. That's rough. Well, I mean, it's not dissimilar to how Titan used to be, I guess. But yeah, that's that's Eureka. Bosia wow. is final activity um, requires about as many people, but isn't nearly as punishing. Right. So it's like, so it's like they realized that they were like, oh, this is like gonna be impossible to do at a certain point because nobody's gonna want to do it. We should make it a little bit easier. And at this point, uh, there's still a decent amount of people who goes through Bosia, uh, primarily because it's really good leveling between 70 to 80. Yeah. Um, Eureka is almost solely handled through dedicated groups going through. You know what would probably help? If I, like, ever played the game in an active, large free company. Yeah. That would probably yeah. help. There is a large amount of minions and... Probably uh, There is one guaranteed mount if, if you get to the end of it. Have you seen people riding around the giant geometric shapes? Oh, like the orb? Yeah. Yeah. If you can beat Baldessian Arsenal, you, get, you get that. It's guaranteed, too. Not even like a chance. You just get it. I don't really think I need an orb that bad. Plus, the completion of the uh, whole thing is basically more characterization than Cryo got throughout the majority of the MSQ. God damn it! Even Dawn Trails! Yep. But the fool. I have thoughts about Dawn Trail. <laughs> I liked most of the MSQ. I just wish Kryle had gotten a bit more screen time. I wish Kryle got more screen time in the Kryle expansion. Well, the Gladiolus is just reading a fucking book. Yeah. I think it's upside down. I don't think he knows how to read. <laughs> but it's okay. Don Trail gave us Wook Lamont, so... I do love me some Woke I, Lamont. I do love Woke Lumont. Objectively the best character in FF14 now. <laughs> it's like, hey, we're starting a new arc of FF14. What if we just put a shonen protagonist in the game? 
What if Luffy was here? What if Luffy was like a seven and a half foot tall buff as fuck Catwoman? Yeah, like what if Luffy was an FF14? That's that's Wu Lamont. Now we meet again. You sticking around these parts for a spell? I you know she feels help. like that sounds weird as fuck, but keep talking. Yeah. Sounds weird as fuck, but hey, I did Abyss C in FF11, so you know I'm all I'm all ears. Oh. That's the definitely wrong. look. Definitely looking forward to uh, seeing what <clears throat> bits of eleven get tossed. What more bits of eleven get tossed into? I'm so uh, fucking. 14. I'm so fucking excited. I'm gonna wear the the fit I got from um, fuck. What was her name even? I can't remember. For for all the fucking FF11 I played, I can't even remember like critical character names. I know the woman you're talking about, but I don't remember her name either. Yeah. But again, I have not played eleven. Well, she so the, her deal is that she is from the FF11 protagonist's future and traveled back in time to prevent like basically the end of the world. Um I think she's uh, definitely a lot more of a recent character because it's like most recent DLC which is basically like the post FF11 thing they did to make it give it a lot more quality of life and make it very soloable. They added the this like overarching plot to everything so they could add more quality of life stuff um and she's like in the canon of ff11 yeah, she is the, the protagonist's like protege basically um which given the implication of the last ff11 event would mean that she was basically a protege of a shard of Azza, up for a light which was pretty cool for her, to be quite I'm honest. Now. I'm, I'm for if you guys so was one of those quality of life improvements, being able to play in uh, a borderless really full screen without needing a fucking mod? Yeah. Finally. I mean, well, no, wait, do it, wait, hold on. I don't know, I don't think so. Oh, well, I think I, because you... I usually just play. There's a FF11 launcher called the Windower that makes the game a lot nicer to play on modern hardware. Yep. I really should upgrade my weapons. Oh, this is level nine. That's fine. What level are we? Oh. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna make use of the things that we have. But yeah, I really, the thing that annoys me a lot is that I wish FF11 was more my kind of game, but it is very old MMO, so it's very about the grind and like playing with other people, so it can be very frustrating to play. <laughs> FF14 is not bad. Like FF14, FF14 is not a game that prioritizes playing with other people. Not in all of its content. Especially, especially not, time. especially not now. Because you can go through the entire game, mostly the entire game, without playing with other people, really. Except for trials, yeah. I guess. And even then, you can do Ifrit, I think, with duty support, right? You can do all of the ARR trials up until Ultima Weapon. With NPC at yeah. This point. Thank you, Hyde, for the gift sub. I there's nowhere for me to hang from, so I can't get my mana back. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Hell oh, yeah, slam that monster. <sighs> Maybe it's just me, but I felt kind of bad taking those. I still down. love that they're you fucking know, energy drinks. I did you ever think about how Death Stranding had Norman Reedus? Turn P into monster energy drinks. Glad we found yeah. It. You ever think about Time that? I think about that a lot. And then he drinks them. He does not turn P into energy drinks. Yes, he does. 
He turns it into grenades. No, y'all. No, it also his bodily fluids can be turned into monster energy drinks. It can also be turned into grenades. Yes. Actually, no. I think. No, I think P does count for that. So it's like rain and river water, and I think also his own pee can be turned into monster. I guess not anymore. Because monster energy drink isn't in the director's cut. It had to get removed. Which is like, what's the fucking point of playing the game now? Honestly. What's the fucking point? Y yeah. The game's good, though. I like that game. Was it inspired by Bear Grylls? No, it was more. It's more like, I mean, technically yes, in that it's oh, like yeah. a method of survival of like surviving in the wild. I think I got a pebble in my shoe. But I mean, Take the point is that yeah. like you're making full use of all the fluids that your body takes in uh, by filtering out like all the harmful chemicals that are in urine and turning it into basically pure water, but in the case of Death Stranding, you turn it into energy drink. That's a real thing, like... I know people take the mick out of Bear Grylls, because he does it on his TV show, but that is a genuine, actual thing. Like, it was a thing before Bear Grylls, and it will, it will be a thing after him. Uh, why do we always talk about piss on this channel? You tell me. <laughs> like, why does piss always come up? I don't, I don't mean for it to. Sleeping out under the stars tonight. I gotta level up. I don't remember Weirdo from the Okami stream. Man, remember when I was gonna play all the way through Okami? Oh, I own that on PC no. now, actually. I mean, yeah, all toilets are communal. There is no, you have never pissed in a toilet and been the only one to piss in it. Think about that. I'll keep that one. <sighs> Peaceful out here. Cookie, yeah, if you're, unless so you're living in a place that was literally well just good, built but I'm alone, about the things hiding in the dark. Well, sure, no moonlight stroll. but somebody will probably it's piss in that toilet bad. after you. Yeah, I kind of like it. Never would have guessed. Why not? Because you're a prince. What? Princes can't enjoy the. Outdoors. Like, imagine being rich and having a toilet that only you use and will ever use. That's probably what I would do if I had a lot of money. Get my own toilet and then give st uh, the strictest command for it to be destroyed when I die. <laughs> what level am I? Seven. I like how Rose went silent during this entire conversation as if to say, Yeah, yeah you dig your own grave. Yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Just keep, keep talking, babe. Takes a pen, like Hi, no Charles. Yeah. Oh, I'm a little bit laggy. That's a great cat right there. What's up, Charles?
Oh shit, I've already been going for two hours? What the fuck? So the conversation I had was about the optics of gender-neutral toilets and how people are used to gender-neutral toilets, but don't have that as a salient point in their schema of toilets in public spaces. And acting like they're necessarily malicious when they're confused about gender-neutral toilets will likely drive them further into opposing gender-neutral toilets. Yeah. I mean, yeah, like, everybody has a gender-neutral toilet in their home, right? So what's the big deal about a toilet in public being gender-neutral? But, like, try to tell that to a Republican and they'll call you Satan. So, you know. What are you gonna do? I really do need to grind the new tombstones. Probably after... Uh, I'm done grinding Red Mage. So it's hard to get tombstones through the roulettes when you're doing the roulettes to grind Red Mage. In Spanish, all toilets are male. Psst, that... I don't like that. That makes me feel weird. I don't want... I don't like that. I hate how Spanish as a language just genders things for no reason. Yeah. Cause like I don't want to be thinking about the fact when I'm pissing in the toilet that it's a dude. <laughs> Who wants to think that? Some people, probably. <laughs> Probably. Let's head on out. Charles, what do you mean raid team? Freezing. You raid with people? Be nice to go underground. Well, Val, maybe you should. Maybe you should think about that. Maybe you should consider that your language is a little bit fucked up. Not that I have much ground to stand on here. The island on which I'm standing is is merely a few centimeters larger than yours. Hive, you, Hive, you don't get to talk. Aussies don't, Aussies don't get to talk to me about language. Okay, here's the deal. You get Australia to call ketchup ketchup, then you can talk about language at me, okay? Not before. Hello. Luca, you can't bring up ketchup every time. I absolutely can. <laughs> no, you can't. It pisses, it's the only one. It pisses me off. It's not. It's not the only one. We Vi discussed one not that long ago in general chat that also made me mad. Ah, oh, what? All right, let's see. Australian slang is fucked. Or Australia as Australia as a language. We're in the money. What the fuck did you? Prompto, why'd you think that? We're not going to a movie. Wait. No, I'm thinking of a different song. No. Am I? I don't think I am. No, I just think I just think of movies with that song because the better media uses it. Um, yes, American as a language is fucked. That's why I'm completely safe as a Canadian. Huh? What are you about it? Canada doesn't have me fucked up slime. 
Have you ever heard of a Newfoundland puppy? Come on! Okay. I can roll this back a bit. <laughs> uh -huh. I can, I can, I can, I can walk this back a little bit. I can salvage right. this. I can salvage <laughs> this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't even get me started on Toronto. I will bring up Drake. Okay, no, Drake does not. He does not represent us. Okay. However, he represents everyone here in America. No, no Canadian claims Drake. Correct, but everyone else does. We claim that Drake got shot on our TV, okay? You know who I'd wish y'all would claim and just like own up to? Who? Ted Cruz? Ted Cruz. Sorry. Yeah. That's your fault. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so yeah. sorry. Uh, the, 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 the coward. He's from my, he's from my province too. Of course he's from fucking Alberta. Like, he's from Calgary. And you know how in in the chat recently, I was, we were talking about flags and I posted Nazi flag as my province's flag? Ted Cruz contributes yeah. to that. Biggie, look out. Uh, yeah. Oh, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. I came in... I came in here to yell at you. Stop talking about the ketchup. It's fine. The, it makes it. Fine. No, it's not. It's not fine. It's objectively Come not fine. Because tomato uh, sauce is too fucking vague. I mean, you're correct. However, it's just not a bad. Thing. Like, what is it? A bolognese? Marinara? Just happy it's over. Those are both tomato sauces. I love the fact that this is the maddest I've ever heard you about. <laughs> <laughs> Anything, really. <laughs> it, 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 it boggles to my... Because this has happened on several occasions. Like, I'm going to be mad about it until I die. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, you can't make... You're not going to make fucking spaghetti bolognese and put ketchup in it, motherfuckers. Uh, mm. Okay, not as so not as the primary sauce, because the thing spaghetti remember, bolognese we, needs we know, is bolognese. We know weird people here in America. I know Americans who use tomato sauce as the base of spaghetti. Yeah, but you, you Americans are freaks. Totally correct. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I get that context exists in language, but. You cannot tell me that if there is a situation in which you were at a dining table and there was a bottle of ketchup and there was like a pot of like a pasta sauce, like a bolognese, and you go, pass me the tomato sauce. Like, the context there doesn't matter because they're both tomato sauces. Clarity of language is important. Well, we live in a fucked up world, so unfortunately, it's not that. <laughs> That's the thing Aussies don't understand. Clarity of language. That's, that's, that's the thing missing. M Mithra, no, please, no. We can't get into the dialect the UK of ketchup and right. ketchup. I would Jesus be fine. I, I literally yeah. suggested that. Australia could call it catsup because it makes sense. The UK calls it catsup. Yeah, but they'll do anything not to, like, put themselves with the British, just like Everything everyone else. Yep. Wait, is that the reason why? So, because they just don't want to sound. I I get that you could call it pasta sauce. That's not the point. They are both tomato sauces. I need this as a highlight. We could talk about how many how Australians have just fucked up with ketchup. They're both tomato sauces, like. But the, and the fact is, ketchup is less tomato sauce than a bolognese. It's mostly sugar and vinegar. Anyway. 
I'm going back to. Okay, have fun, Charles. <laughs> Bye, I love you. Bye. <laughs> It's like, because calling it, yeah, calling it tomato sauce is also less accurate than calling a pasta sauce a tomato sauce. Okay. There is a difference between Nutella marketing its product falsely and Australians lacking clarity of language. Nutella just markets their, their product misleadingly and falsely. Actually, I guess it's very similar to what Australia does with ketchup. Great range of wares here. So, you know what? Like you. Fine. I'll accept that. If we're equating it to Nutella, then you're telling me that Australians falsely and misleadingly call ketchup tomato sauce, and I, uh, this is acceptable. As long as you're aware. <sighs> Why, she's looking prettier than ever. That's why she's a mechanic. So she can wash her car and you can see her boobs. That's why Square Enix did that. Just for the record. No shit. Yeah, it's pretty obvious, huh? Thank you, Hive. I love you. Eating your fill. I've had this argument with Vi so many times. No surprises. <laughs> American English is no more a parasite than any other fucking language. Yeah. But it's just like, I don't know. Want to help out I do just really value clarity of language. Y'all take care now. That's the tism. <laughs> yes, it is. Because the thing is, I would never call anything a tomato sauce. I would call it by what it's, well, by what it is. If it's a bolognese, I would call it a bolognese. If it was a marinara, I would call it a marinara. If it was a ketchup, I'd call it ketchup. These are all, these are all very specific different things. But also this is like, but I'm also like a foodie, so, so I guess. I do have a bias in that direction anyway. I shouldn't say that I'm a foodie. I watch a lot of food content. That is actually primarily what I watch on YouTube. I No, I would not call Big Mac sauce a rum roulade. Are you fucking crazy? Get out of here! Oh. Disgraceful. Yeah, but it's just like, <sighs> man, it's hot. If you if you would think jury. about the kind of content that a video game streamer would watch, it would probably be stuff similar to what they produce. Hey, I've basically time. completely watched stopped watching any gaming content. I'm I'm actually like basically even off like gaming news podcasts aside from like remap radio. Pleasure but I've talked business. at length about why I'm off most gaming podcasts. I don't think I've ever watched a gaming podcast. Well, like Giant Bomb. See you later. I never did. You never got the Giant Bomb? Nope. Oh. It was, it was good. And then like, everybody left or got let go. And I'm still salty that they fired fucking Jess Voidberger after like, she wasn't even there for a year and it was a very, very good addition to the fucking cast. And it's just a super yeah. cool fucking person. Yeah. Meanwhile, fucking, I don't know, Jeff Bacalar still works there. I mostly just know that Jeff Gersman is a guy. Jeff Gersman's cool. I like Jeff Gersman. He's a he's a cool he's a cool good guy. He's very he's very Tumblr. he's very funny on Tumblr. <laughs> he is. 
Like, his entire shtick on Tumblr is just exclusively shitposting. That's it. But it is the shitpost website, so... It's also, like, basically the only social media I use these days. Thank fuck. Well, say that, but... Everything in order. Yep. Tumblr also kind of sucks in its own way. Actually, not even in its own way. In very similar ways to the ways that Twitter sucks, honestly. The guy in charge sucks. Yeah, Mithra, I... A language with rules so things are consistent is nice. And I cannot say that for English. Yeah, that's true. And then you'll also get banned if you point out that Tumblr sucks. Well, only if you're trans, though. It has nothing to do with anybody on the website being transphobic. It's just, you know just happens. It's weird how it happens like that. Odd. It's, what a coincidence, right? Anyway... Hey, this game looks great. Still. This is like, what, a 2018 game? Yep. Still looks fucking good. I, I noticed that because I saw some god rays, so I was like, oh, hey, cool. <laughs> Love a god ray. Everybody loves a god ray. Oh, it needs to be night. 2016? Wow. Are you telling me this game is almost 10 years old? For some reason, that almost made me want to cry. <laughs> oh no, I'm old. Oh no! And here we are. I can't believe this game came out the same year Trump got elected. That was a bad year. Sure was. That was an awful year. Final Fantasy XV was really disappointing. Twenty sixteen for original, but looks like Windows version was twenty eighteen. Oh, okay. I think I just remember that the title screen at the start of the game said twenty eighteen. So. They probably have it dated for Is when this version came out. Is it dangerous dark around here? Most likely. We'd best ponder our lodgings as we go. We're fine. We're not going to get jumped by goblins or anything. Item. Nice. Now, where are the goblins? Hello. I do really appreciate that the goblins in this game look like the Final Fantasy 1 goblins. It is nice. I love the Final Fantasy 1 goblins. Not as much as I love the Final Fantasy 9 goblins. Because Final Fantasy 9 goblins are such fucking little guys. Go look up a picture of a Final Fantasy 9 goblin right huh. now. Tell me that's not, like, the best little guy ever. You look a bit out of sorts, Noct. You need to take better care of yourself. Look up FF9 goblins. I like FF9 goblins so much that I modeled a subspecies of 
of goblin in my tabletop campaign after them. They're called gablins. Because they have higher intellect than goblins due to a uh, a viral outbreak that changed their genetics. And gave them heightened intelligence. Oh yeah, you know that. You sent me the game. <laughs> yeah, you know that. Chat doesn't know that. Man. I really want to fucking play tabletop. <laughs> It's one of those things where I have, like, scenarios planned out for all of the characters in our next session, and I'm just, like, chomping at the bit to actually do them. Where the Understandable. fuck are these goblins? Do I actually have to go to the point here? Oh. We're outnumbered. Smart. I suppose we take them out one by one. Could you propose a way to finish this faster? Ow! Wow, wow, woo I didn't upgrade my weapons. Again. Ow. Thanks, Prompto. Where'd you learn that one, Doc? I don't need a potion yet. I'm good. Woo! That was pretty sick. You know, I I say this every time I play a more action-oriented Final Fantasy. If they actually fully committed to Final Fantasy being an action game instead of doing like this bullshit Kingdom Hearts stuff, I'd like it a lot more. I would say even the Kingdom Hearts gameplay is more in depth than FF15 gameplay. I've news about 16. I'm not gonna play 16. Like there, there is something about 15 that just fundamentally does not appeal to me. 16. 16, yeah. I mean, 15 also. Like, I, I think there's something about 16 that, like, it just seems dark for the sake of being dark. And, like, I like a, a good a good helping of levity in a Final Fantasy game. Which is why I like, I like 10 so much. And why 8 doesn't really vibe with me as much, because, like, Squall's no fucking fun at all. Yeah. He's like anti fun. Which is also probably why I should Deep like FF9 a lot. Uh, yeah. Uh, hey, Pronto. Stay on your feet. I hate that this fucker ran off so far away that I had to exit combat and lose my fucking meter. I think it was that 15 didn't fully commit to having KH combat. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, like, even FF7 remake is like this half and half between RPG and action game, and it's like, just commit. Because it kind, I kind of doing both ruins both. Or like, it's lesser than yeah, the it's not. lesser than the sum of its parts. The roads are perilous at night. Yeah, we best head back into town. I'm not gonna go into town. I'm gonna yeah, whatever. Yeah, is, he, is that is Let's he just back to town? Is Ignis well, just gonna drive me back to Let's town? Let's call it a night. Oh. Okay. Look at all these lights. What a relief. Indeed. Where are we? They ought to keep the demons at bay. Oh, I know where we are. Okay. How much is the inn here? Hmm? Oh, customer. Eh, fine. Ugh, I'm all sticky and gross. Woohoo! 
about time. I've never heard somebody so excited to take a bath. Hmm. Well taken. That's a good one. That's a fun one. That's a silly one. Look at that. Well, one of the few pictures. I do love landscape together. shots. That's a good one. That is a good one, yeah. Kind of like taken from the dashboard. Come now, it's nothing special. Okay. Oh yeah, I can turn to this quest too. Hey. 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 Whoa, Squid Raid! Hello. I forgot how loud that is. It's gaming! What's up, everybody? How's it going? How was, um... You guys were playing Fuga, right? I hope you guys shot tons of kids out of a soul cannon, killing them forever. These are some pretty tough customers. Is that Jameson Price? Happy to tell you about the area. No, it's not. Okay, just that wide lift one line sounded like him. Zero orphans have been canonized? Come on. Man, that smells good. What are we what are you doing? They like being in the cannon. It's enrichment. I don't think they do. I don't know about that. I heard one tell me that it really, really liked it. Everything in order. Yep. Uh, I'm so glad to be on the pro orphan murder uh, side of the <laughs> streaming <laughs> split. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're that. We want to win the war, Rose. We want to put an end to the war so there can be peace. And sometimes you uh, gotta put some orphans in the orphan grinder, okay? It's just how it you be. Make good, you make a good point. Yeah. In the long run, we're helping everybody. I should go out and murder a small child. Well, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I don't think you can well, say that. that. That was a joke. <laughs> I, I think Twitch gets mad if you say stuff like that. <laughs> But it's to win the war, so it's automatically good. I mean, I think we can say that if we say that we're members of the Israeli state. That's fair. Twitch will let you get away with that. Israel loves killing children. Sure does. The Democrats love them. So, you know. It's fine, I guess. Whatever. Exactly. Genocide got a standing ovation recently, so, you know. That's the Woo! world we live in these days. Aren't you proud to be an American? I'm not an American. <laughs> Hello? Is that Squid? Yes. Hi, Squid. <laughs> right as we started talking about genocide. Yeah! As an American. You have... Woo! Genocide! You have... Great. Great timing. Yeah. Anyway, you like FF15 a lot, huh? It's my problematic phase. It's not problematic. <laughs> it has some problems. I mean... That's not the same thing as being problematic. Yeah, it's not like this... I mean, we did have a photo of Gla Gladio in blackface earlier. <laughs> yeah, okay, I understand now. It's like how Postal is my problematic fave. It's True. it's not. I don't like those games. What is like <laughs> what is up with Postal having a resurgence? It's quite comforting to like, the people about. It's mostly because the surprisingly, this is like really surprising. The the people who own Postal and like made the first two are just surprisingly decent guys. But aren't those games, like, deeply problematic? 
Yes, it is. Like, somebody even said, like, oh, the postal guy is, like, transphobic. And they're like, actually, no, we don't abide by transphobia. And postal guy is not a transphobe. Go fuck yourself. That's... So what? So That's weird. so weird. It's so <laughs> weird. That the pulse that like we're gonna do all this like really problematic stuff, but they like listen transphobia. We don't like, we don't abide by that. How <laughs> are the people that made postal cooler than Mark Kern? How are they cooler than the guy who made Braid? <laughs> how are they cooler than the guy who made the Firefall bus? My favorite thing that Mark Kern has ever did was when he was promoting Firefall and there was like a stream that he did with Mega64. Oh god. I watched the whole thing. You can tell he's getting so fucking mad. Remember when they when they hung out with Tommy Tallarico too? <laughs> yeah, the, um, there, right. was a, there was actually a podcast perfect. that they did an H-Bomber guy like showed up and called him on Yeah. And he was just like, honestly, I thought it was a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this whole time, it was weird when people started taking it seriously because everything he said started getting so outlandish. I was like, obviously, he's just taking the piss out of himself. Yeah, like, no, Tommy <laughs> Talavico cannot. Like, he's physically. He just to he's incapable of taking the piss out of himself. I re I rewatched the Roblox oof uh, video just the other day actually and it's like the fucking what a weird guy <laughs> like it's so weird how it's like he keeps like telling we'll lies that are very like, that. like I was the first American it. to work on Sonic yeah like easily yeah, disprovable lies Sonic Adventure 2 was made in a San Francisco was made in San Francisco. Yeah, like if literally anybody were to do the barest little bit of research on on his claims, they'd be able to like figure him out instantly. But like But he's so confident. He's yeah. Like, there's gross. such there's such easily researchable lies that everyone's just like, oh yeah, that must be true. <laughs> oh man. Such Ash. a weird dude. Such a and I hate it because like I recently tried to talk a little bit about this. It's like there was a show on I think it was National Geographic. Mm. It was pure yes. bullshit where they were just like, "This is what animals are gonna look like in a million." Oh years. yeah, like like those bullshit like, "Oh, this is what like all the cities are gonna look like after all the humans are gone." And it was it was so out there like these are like elephant whales but they've evolved to spit acid awesome <laughs> that's sick and this is the last member Wait. on earth it's a it's a little gerbil thing and it's actually being kept as cattle by a group of spiders why would a whale need to spit acid it was like a whale that turned into a seal <laughs> oh okay I guess, sure. Not stop really. So it's like a land whale. Like, the thing that gets me is at, there's several parts where because I played this game so much as a kid, like it's embedded in my memory. There's several parts where they use the soundtrack from the 2000 like PS1 Spider-Man game. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I really I want to stream the PS2 Spider-Man at some point, like Spider-Man 2. And it's really. It really pisses me off because to Tommy Tallarico said he d did the music for that. Uh -huh. and I should be able to take him God, for his word, but now I can't. Word. No. Even the things he did do, I can't take his word for. No, I don't. I don't believe he did that. I'm like, no. You know what? Joey did this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Joey Curris, he did this. Thank From you. From now on, whenever, even if Joey did do it, it was Joey. Years of taking Joey's credit, Joey gets to take all you of You know what? Stuff. I'm just going to use the DLC fishing stuff because I can't be fucked. Yeah. Fuck it. Fuck it. Why not? But yeah. I love this game in spite of its problems. Come on. It's many, Come many, many problems. Mostly, it's fine until it's mostly okay. It has some problems here and there. And then the last oh, third. Yeah. Up. Yeah. That's that's the problem point of the game. And then I'm, I don't know if just another dude took over the writing. No, it's, it's, it feels like they ran out of time. It 
they ran out of time and a lot of the characters start oh. acting not like Focus. how they've been established in the first two acts. Yeah. And I think maybe parts of that are now explained with the DLC? Some of it is. Oh, I've played job, all the DLC. Matt. And then I've even read the book where they were going to do another batch of DLC and then they didn't get a chance About to finish it. Hello, here. Lottie. How's Lottie doing? So... Yeah, because they were going to do like episode Lucis or whatever, right? Yeah, they did a bunch, and it's actually interesting because, like, a bunch of those people later reused ideas for Final Fantasy VII Remake. Yeah. Oh, Wait, Lottie, how do they say it? Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Wait, why can't I fish? Be right back. Okay, don't die. To be fair, this... <laughs> This game started out as Final Fantasy. Like 13 versus. Yeah. And it was in fucking development hell for like so many fucking games. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier. Um, the fact that this game even exists in the state that it is, is like kind of a miracle. Yeah. And it's the fact that it's half as good as it is, is kind of a miracle. Yeah. I mean, my, my big issue with this is that I played it at launch. And beat it before they could patch the big issues. Yeah. Um. So hopefully, um, I like the game a lot more this time. I mean, the thing is, is like I never hated it. I just kind of landed mostly indifferent. I think. It's I like, think that's the. I think that's the average interpretation of it now. Yeah, it's like, I just, I like, I didn't really care. Um, as is evidenced by the fact that I've forgotten everything about the game at this point. That's fair. I There are problems I have with the story. Like, uh, whoever the fuck is his girlfriend? Ooh, his fiance? Uh, yeah, her. Yeah. Uh, exactly. That's self-evident. Her... And they don't, they don't meet or have any interaction until, like... Her name is Luna Freya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they don't... Because I was reading the book where they did, like, one of the DLCs. And it's, like, very clearly, like, oh, Luna Freya is doing this and this and this. Yeah, and she's, like, like, doing stuff. But, like, why can't we see her doing shit? And I'm just, oh. like... Wow, this would have been only like cooked fish. Game. Yeah, right. like, could you imagine if some of the story was in the game? Wow. Hey, Kingsclave, what's up? Hey. I like the fact that you could just entirely skip Kingsclave in the game. And better for it. Yes, it is. <laughs> it one hundred percent is. <laughs> Kingsclave fucking sucks. It looks great. It's oh, terrible. Yeah, it's it's a visual treat, but then what's the case? It's like, man, this is a great screen. Hey, it's like, but it's but it's the same as like every Final That's Fantasy movie, right? Down. Like, what? Advent oh, Children, not There's a great movie. It looks oh, great. Oh yeah, the visual style of it whips, but the second that any of the characters are talking and words are coming out of it, spirits within, boring as fuck. Looks fantastic. And I can watch it on this tasty plasma in Life is Strange. No, I think Rose, Rose you didn't scare off Rose. Nothing scares Rose. Away. Rose has been with me for really ages, you, so, you know. Cats are clingy, okay. and they're <laughs> notorious. <laughs> She's put up with me for for a long time. When it comes to food, got a lot of are quite finicky, so you are Yeah, to we were talking about that here. earlier as well, where I was My discussing. <laughs> no, not yours, mine. Um, <laughs> where. A lot of Aussie slang pisses me off because Australia, Australia's language doesn't understand the clarity of language, and that pisses me off. Um, Aussie slang is pretty good though, but a lot of it pisses me off. I just learned that like 
the storms in Australia are called boobs. Uh huh. You're one no, uh, spoiled cat. Hubboob. 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 I think he likes you. I guess. Chloe's I think some people just shorten it to boob. Like, and then yeah. Just, clinging I'm like, now I just want to make a movie that's like Twister, but it's called Boober. <laughs> and then the sequel could be called Boobers. <laughs> Boobers. What is up? What is up with Twisters? Like, are, I didn't like the first. Were one. people <laughs> unironically excited for Twisters? What's all this about the pork I don't know what the vibe was. Oh, I think it's just I, 90s nostalgia. I was trying to think of where I. In my brain, I had the image of people toasting and saying the word haboobs. And I was like, what's that from? It's cyberpunk. Cyberpunk 2077, which I have unfortunately oh, okay. played. There's There's good things in Cyberpunk, but god, you got to dig more. You really got to <laughs> dig for the good in Cyberpunk. I so and the good the good in Cyberpunk is exclusively uh Judy. And Pat, the like the characters in Cyberpunk are good. I'm not going to lie. Um everything in order. A lot yep. of people were right. like um Who's, who's the guy that's with you at the beginning of the game? Jackie. Jackie. Um, whenever, like, they were like, oh, man, Jackie's death is... <laughs> yeah, it's it doesn't really feel that tragic because you don't really spend enough time. Not only that, but they... Listen, I'm, I'm not... I am... I've seen some foreshadowing. This was five shadowing. <laughs> like oh yeah literally the death the death flags the bar, yeah when he was like at the bar and like hey they're like oh yeah we name people when they die and i'm just like yeah well just offhandedly this is what this, my this is my drink be. order yeah no death and flags just, for sure i was just like oh yeah just two weeks away from retirement yeah like we're, we have this <laughs> one last big score before we're set for life uh I do, I do just, like Jackie a lot as a character, though. He's a very, very good character, and I wish he was yeah, in and, more of the game. Like, he... Oh, my God. Like, his voice actor does really good. And yes. Sincere, sincere can, Jackie is, like, so good. Like, because I say this as somebody who grew up in, in Texas. Yes. I've, I've met Mexican people my whole... You can make a Mexican accent really corny and really You can, and yes. <laughs> and they Cyberpunk definitely does. Yeah, there are parts. There are parts. <laughs> but yes. like the whole the whole like a friend has seen, like after like the intro stuff, like where you just this nice memorial to Jackie is like it's a really good touching authentic scene. Um yeah. I like that scene a lot. And there's a lot of really Cyberpunk 2077 weirdly does have a lot of heart, despite being very much a corporate product. Yes, I agree. Um, that's actually that shows like a level of restraint that they're willing to have this like side mission. Yeah, that has no guns, no action. <laughs> just literally, amazing. you're talking to characters and seeing yeah. how much oh, this character yeah. means to. And somebody. Cyberpunk <laughs> does have a <laughs> lot of that. Like, there's like I oh, think God, a lot about the the date scenes that you get with Judy and how like you have this whole thing where you like go scuba diving with her and visit her like childhood home that's been flooded um and it it's just like really really good and nice and there's no yeah. shooting or anything and it's just like it's just good shit there's good shit in cyberpunk 2077 i'm not gonna say that anybody should buy it because frankly i still haven't gotten to phantom liberty i haven't Fan gotten, i haven't touched any of that shit phantom liberty is good um just i feel like the endings are slightly disappointing that's fair um but there is one really good one hi maria i appreciate that you stopped to say hello go get some good go get some good sleep i love you wait it's 4 a.m does that mean that the last time that we stayed up and played ff14 it was like super duper late for you when you went to bed 
That's fun. It must have been like 7 a.m. when you went to bed. <laughs> I literally have the art book. Oh, I have read alive. the book of Barely. Scrap DLC. I seriously thought we were I'm... at Journey's End. <laughs> Your bad feet was fit yeah. for a king. Indeed. There's a whole section in the art book about the ramen noodle. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, man. You just made me think of No More Heroes 3. And Travis Strikes Again. And, like, all the ramen stuff in those games. It's very good. I feel good. like if you put, like, cup noodle in those games, it would be less jarring. Because it's so surreal already. Yeah, it's weird to have cup noodle product placement in Final Fantasy. Because it's, our, like, I get it's a fantasy world, but also, like, did Never you notice that up. the yeah. car that you drive here is a Rolls Royce? Yeah, you know, I did happen to notice that. Did you... Happen to know also that this Rolls Royce is now in fucking Final Fantasy 14 also? Yeah, there's a quest in here <laughs> for Final fuck, Fantasy 14. It's fucking weird to just have a Rolls Royce in FF14. It was fun playing FF14, Lottie. It was good. And there was also all the camping equipment is Coleman. Yeah. Like, it's this game is so fucking weird. There's like, doesn't, yeah. don't you get Gladio to dress up as a cup noodle at some point? I, I don't think I so. F you do get a quest where he just like, literally is like, oh yeah, cup noodle. They go through so many different flavors and so, they go through over a hundred different kinds of shrimp and only choose the very best, like buddy. No, yeah, no they don't, yeah, <laughs> like, I... I've seen people eat cup noodle and almost throw up. Like I'm it's trying really hard to not mention the dark side fill video. Yeah. I've I think we've talked about it on stream before. Um it's, yeah. Which is in the same really video it, same video series where he showers on camera. Yes, he does. Um what a, that video just lives in my brain because if it was like if it was a bit of satire, I, it would be genius. But the fact that he just does it with zero shame. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, have you ever seen the Bardonic Ramen video? I have not. Uh, it's a video where a person makes ramen with, I think, blue Powerade as the broth. Oh no. Yeah, because it's like Sonic, I think. I don't Welcome know. Welcome to Golden Key. Oh no. Yeah. Are we staying here? And oh, then. So do you like that this cool uh, snapshot contest is forever frozen? Yeah, I was kind of like, what is the yeah. deal with this? Because they did like they used to do like bi-monthly updates, and now it's uh. Oh, it's just not a thing anymore. Nope. This is a weird. This is like a live service game. If it was like frozen in time. Oh, it's like Final Fantasy XI. Got it. Also, there's gonna be a bunch of like weird promotions for like a mobile game. Yeah, that doesn't exist anymore. That, that doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. So, don't, don't waste your time with it. No. It was just there to like give you rewards for the mobile game and that's down now so. yeah are any of the final fantasy mobile games still around what about the gacha there was a gacha right the 15 one is surprisingly still around wow nice work kid sorry for giving you but such not, a hard time i just had to get my hands on this even if it meant black only one of them is you going. understand don't huh. you I know, like, the Final Fantasy VII Battle Royale died within, like, less than a few months. I played it. Boy, it was a game. That special coin you got, it commemorates the Oracle's Ascension. That guy was tossing them out to everyone. Must have picked them up back in Niflheim. I, this is a voice that I used to do in our tabletop campaigns. I doubt a souvenir I, like I that could make its way into the hands of an ordinary the citizen. A little femboy twink with, oh, a, well, it's our pocket change with now. like this Let's weird learn from history New York accent this is time. like that. That gets my engines going. <laughs> this is this is the voice of a character that I named uh, Tony Taboni. Told you, I'm a man. I hate that that does something. What Tony Taboni? 
So let me know I when you're ready that, to ship out. I hate that this voice I does I something. Dino to secure I hate that well, must this, be I want to hear about this man debate about clam chowder. Hey, Squid, <laughs> you should watch Sopranos. I don't know, I don't think he's, I don't think he's Bostonian, I think he's Italian. His name's Dino. You guys yeah, ready like, to set sail? I was just saying New York, because... Oh, yeah. Okay. The ship all right till tomorrow. How about you find a place to spend the night? Yeah, you should watch The Sopranos. You'll get a lot of these guys. The, they're not it's physically my time. type, uh -huh. and I don't like it when they call somebody the F slur, but... <laughs> it's a good show. It's a good show. It's a good show. It's a good show. I know that they're being problematic here. Yeah, like that's the that's like that's the point, and then they try to grow. I've played the Sopranos PS2 game. <laughs> hey, Squid. Yeah. That is the most you thing that you could have ever said to me. It's like saying yeah. that you've never seen The Godfather, but you've played The Godfather PS2 game. Oh look, this is my favorite part of Kingsglaive. Yeah, this yeah, this is just literally from Kingsglaive. Yeah, like you might as well not even watch it, right? Like you get all the context. Yeah. yeah but it looks it. cool. It is a real like it is. It like I have the same feelings about this that I do, with, and I'm gonna get a lot of shit for this. I have the same feelings about this that I do for Inuyasha. You're... I love how it looks until somebody opens their mouth and the words that come out. You're so valid. You're so valid. <laughs> it's like 50% like of the dialogue in Inuyasha is characters saying each other's names. Kagome Inuyasha. Yes. Kagome Inuyasha. And I'm just like, holy shit. Like, some of these designs are good. <laughs> yeah. I hate this. But also, I... The, the weird overlap between this game and, like, a lot of the stuff in FF14 is is odd. Like, oh, what do you mean that the villain is an empire that utilizes Magitek? Hmm. Hmm. That's odd. I guess it's also Final Fantasy VI. As for the DLC and which ones you should play, <sighs> hey, uh, uh, do you have the Ignis one? Or whoever the... I have, Arden? Arden? Yeah, I have Arden. Arden is actually good. Okay. I'm going to do all of them. It, some of them... Uh, I feel Respect. like the Prompto one actually ruins his character. Now. Um, that's fair. Oh, this scene. Hey, Noct, I hope you don't want bad news this morning. What's that look for? You already look pissy. I got bad news. It's in all the papers. What is? I will say Insomnia. I respect that they have False. made Noctis what? not brood nearly as much as like joke. <laughs> I need you to calm down so I can explain. I'm as calm okay. as I'm gonna get. There was Having time. played 13 relatively yeah, recently, RTS lightning isn't that bad. City. As you know who is that flare, bad? Blast lit the night no. sky. Squall. The smoke about the Citadel had cleared. You know what? Squall is the fucking Sorry. worst. No, I wait. never liked a Hold on. Squall is like I got halfway through that game and Squall was still a pissy little baby and I was like I'm done. I can't handle this anymore. Yet the reports of the invasion were the same. How could every Like like lightning real like part of the point of lightning's character is that she softens throughout the course of the game. Yeah. And I get that that's probably in the, the intent with Squall. It takes him too long. Way too long. His whole shit gets tired, like, after, you do, after you're done the first disc of the game. Until we see it with our own eyes. God, you want to know a game that really is fucking We go good. back to Insomnia. Might not be Ten? Lost Odyssey. Might not be oh. for us here. I gotta play Lost Odyssey. Turn back. Well, with the Xbox 360 marketplace. Yeah, I'll buy it. I'll buy it on the Xbox 360. This thing that's totally yeah. still online that they didn't pull the cord on a little bit prematurely. By the way, uh, fun fact: if you have Lost Odyssey physical, they decided. I. This is okay. This is the most like nitpicky bullshit, but I have to complain about it. Okay. 
So, how do you think, when a game has more than one disc, how do you I think they would package one in okay. this little thing? Um, well, I mean, yeah, conventionally, it would be multiple, like, like little page, like little pages, basically. Like, the PS1 multiple discs would be, like, pages within the disc tray, like it was a book, almost. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you see what oh, Lost Microsoft Odyssey did. stacks them together, doesn't it? Oh, they stack. Here's the thing. They, it's a four-disc game. They stack three on top of each other, and the fourth one is tucked next to the instruction. But with the cover, with the disc art, because they're slightly, they're not completely, they're kind of rough. Wouldn't that scratch the discs? Imperial Dreadnoughts. Yeah. Ah, I see. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought you were going to be like, no, it's fine. But like, no, it does scratch the disc. Yes. Yes, I'm very fortunate that I have mine in a really good condition. And I have like found it and I carried it like a baby. The first three discs are fine. The fourth one I'm very happy that I played through it. You know what I always confuse Lost Odyssey with? Last Remnant? That's fair. Because that's like the very similar names. Similarly generic. I. What's that? What's that Wii game that's like Final Fantasy? Last Story? The last story. The yeah, last story. It's from the same studio that made Lost Odyssey. Yeah, I want to play that. I remember. Because doesn't the, didn't that have the involvement of the guy that made Final Fantasy, which is why it's called Last Story? Yeah. Yeah, and, uh, that's right, right. Uh, it was also part of Operation Moonfall, which was the weird period where Nintendo just didn't want to release games are. that were fully translated to the Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Um, Charles Lost Odyssey is one of those very rare Xbox 360 RPGs. Here goes it's a, it's a turn -based RPG. Yeah. It's very much where's its Final Fantasy inspiration on its sleeve. Which, good. I, I'm fine with that. Because Final Fantasy yeah. kind of stopped being Final Fantasy around that era as well. And I will say this. Like, it's... The voice acting is surprisingly really, really good. The story kind of goes through some cliches moments, but it also has some, like, really surprisingly touching moments. What? Maybe I'll... Because the whole, like, premise is that there's a group of people who are immortal. They never age. Maybe and I will, uh, buy a physical copy of this video game? And, pl yes. and play it completely legitimately on Xbox 360 yeah. hardware. As you sh as the Lord intended. Just like I've done with Demon Souls. As the Lord intended. As the Lord God intended. I love Jesus. <laughs> the character in Jensen is literally one of my favorite characters in the fucking um, it's the voice actor for Sonic Adventure Knuckles. Oh, you mean the guy that did a lot of hentai before voicing Knuckles? Yes. Yeah. And he gives the most Ash Williams ass. Like, oh, dude, I gotta play this fucking game. Like, literally, just like from? imagine, like, imagine like everybody's in a Final inside. Fantasy game, and then there's just one guy who is Ash Williams. And then there's Bruce Campbell <laughs> there in the middle of it all. Like, just literally giving, like, think oh about my it. god, he's been possessed yeah. by shadow magic. Oh my god, no! And then it's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I gotta, I really wanna... Oh, is, is Squid barely audible with the combat? I'll turn the game down a bit. So I can't really turn Squid up without... I'll try to, I'll try to deep throat my mic. Yeah, I'll deep throat, deep, deep throat your mic a little bit. Get, get right oh, up in there. <laughs> You're like, get your mouth like directly on it. Like, yeah, let's just have this next five minutes be unlistenable. <laughs> Fucking 2006 ass let's play moment. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> well, you say that, but there are still streamers that do that because I watch uh, sock pens and that's very much 
a bit he would do on the regular. Uh, but man, Lost Odyssey, it's really good. Uh, um, I'll, I'll combat, play it at some point. The combat doesn't reinvent anything, but also no. the music fucking, it, it fucks so okay. well. Okay, here's the deal. I will play Lost Odyssey after I play through Shadowheart. Fair enough. So I, gotta I need do that to replay it. I remember liking the last remnant strangely, but I don't remember shit about it. I think so. I tried playing the last remnant very recently, and it was basically like a strategy, like army game. Yeah. And I was I like, like little... and I was like, oh, I don't want to play this. <laughs> I, I like strategy stuff. I will also say they don't give you enough like spaces for you to put actual team members in. Yeah. I want to. I want to load my team up with weird little fish like, guys I keep finding. The thing I compare Last Remnant to is Dynasty Warriors if it was an RPG. Hello? And remember when Core. it tried to do that? Yeah. I do. The hell's going on? Where are you? Um I no, I do like strategy games, but I like them more in the vein of tactics RPGs like Final Fantasy Tactics. Yeah, that's most, my vibe. Listen, I feel like that game radicalized me in a way. Yeah, no, yeah, uh-huh, yeah, mm-hmm. Because I was just sitting there, like, when it has the line, like, if it if the penalty for a crime is a fine, it's a crime only for the poor. Yeah. I was like, oh, shit, this is... Yeah, like, 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 oh, brain like, oh actually, this game uh, is good and moral. And also, uh, looks great. Like, the PSP cutscenes look really good. Yeah. I like, I like the through, visual style of them. I've been playing through Triangle Strategy. Oh, recently. I'm sorry. I... But also, yeah, that line isn't in the game. I believe that is a Photoshop line. No, Mithra, you're thinking of a different line. That's not, that's not the hard line that is, uh, that everybody mistakes for being real. That's a different line. I believe. But yeah. But yeah. Triangle strategy. Um, Why don't you just play Fire Emblem instead? Uh, I did play through Three Houses last year. I should do that at some point. It's... People seem to like it. It takes... It, it takes... Here's the thing. I, I think it takes a while for the difficulty to actually kick in. Like, almost halfway through the game. Hmm. That's the kind of game that they kind of want you to play through multiple times, huh? Yep. Oh, hey, look! We're here for what one of her five minutes of screen time. Yeah. It would be cool if I she was a real character. It, it'd be cool if she did anything other than interact with Noctis through this through flashback. It, she, wow, she really is Nomine. Holy shit. That's Nomine. <laughs> That's fucked up. Like, this blind girl shows up more than she does. I don't even know who that is. That's not the Dragoon Lady, is it? No. Dragoon Lady comes later. Dragoon Lady is pretty fucking cool. She's cool, yeah. But this blind lady, she'll, she'll show up and like... If you take pictures and stuff, so Ah, oh, I see. Who that? Hi, Charles. I have to come back in on this. Why? Because we're talking about Kingdom Hearts? No. Wait, were you? Yeah, because the girl that was just on the screen is Nomine. <laughs> Nomine, Kyrie, Shion, Yeah, Mithra, like, Mithra said just, Nomine with the screen time of Kyrie. I hate it here so much. Can, okay. So, Glad, can I just talk about how much I find it weird? Okay, so there's Gladios' sister. Right? Yeah. Who's Yuffie? She, const she constantly flirts with Noctis. Uh-huh. And the way that she's written would lead you to believe that they are around the same age. Uh-huh. She's like a teenager. She is 16. Yeah. Noctis is like Wait, 20, 21. Yeah, Noctis oh. is like, an, like fully an adult. Like, the way she's well, written, thank... it's led to believe, like, oh, she's probably, like, you know, 18, maybe a little younger. Thank God Noctis like, is getting married. 
Thank yeah. God Noctis does not I care about her. <laughs> That's for sure. You can Novax. flirt back Nice-core. in one little side mission, but to see the business. it mm. doesn't and come to anything. I mean, and also, it, it, she is basically Yuffie. Since he heard y'all were coming. Like, that's just that's just the, the character. Uh, I have not been doing this at all. Oh, yeah, you'll forget about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. I feel like... I I remember playing this game. I still have it. I, I I just never. I also remember getting this like day one, or not day one. Like at least like maybe a few. Weeks I in. I got it day one, which was a mistake. Oh boy, that was a and mistake. Then, yeah. Listen, you have your mistake, which is Final Fantasy 15. I have mine, which is Anthem. <laughs> that's worse, I mean, bud. That's worse. I've got one yeah. that can top the fucking both of you. No Man's Sky. Mmm. No. Uh, Duke Nukem I've Forever. I've got one that will make your. S yeah. Yeah. I. You know what? Wait, which one? Duke Nukem Forever. Oh. Pre-ordered that. I'm sorry. I, have, I lost the little. Yeah. Lost. I'm sorry, Squid. That's unfortunate. And the sad thing is, like, at the time, I convinced myself that it was actually good. Oh, Squid, oh, you're like bre you're like breaking my heart. And then when I like replayed through it fairly recently, I was like, I would say like probably a year and a half ago, I was like, oh my god, this is really dog shit. The thing, the thing that's bad about Duke Nukem Forever is that it's not even bad enough to be funny. Like it's just kind of, like it's just incredibly mid. The only thing that I swear to God, Duke Nukem Forever has any lasting impact on me was that there was a Let's Play I watched of it where they kept acting like Duke Nukem was like baby brained. I mean, like, hell yeah, gonna drink wee one. <laughs> I want the <laughs> milky wilky. <laughs> uh, so and that to me sticks closer in my brain I than anything. I think the only Duke Nukem content that is in any conceivable way relevant to the modern era is uh Doug Huggum. The oh, fuck yeah. the Mega 64 yeah, game yeah. that they actually ended up making. Yeah, because they, they did it with a bullshit like line in a video years ago. Yeah, they're like coming out 2024. And then they act like they said March 2024 oh. and they released it March 31st, 2024. Yeah. Uh <laughs> yeah, that the the commitment to the bit there. Like I I don't watch Mega 64's content. Um but I think the commitment to the bit gives me very much a lot of respect for them. Hey. Oh no, they're, yeah, they're chill. And also I, I, and also Scrunt is very funny. Pleasure doing business. I just I feel like if anything else you'd respect that they Made Mark Kern's life miserable for two hours. Yes. And then broke one of his several thousand dollar cameras. Yes, I very appreciate that. <laughs> should I have a gun? I want. I should. You know what? I'm gonna have a gun. Take a look at our I want a gun. Give Noctis a gun. Pleasure doing. <laughs> hey, come give on. No well, Remember, well, no. Give that's that's what. That's what Proctos for. Give Noctis a gun. Noctis has a gun now. I'm getting rid of it's... the two-handed sword because it's bullshit. It's funny how everyone just doesn't have a gun. Yeah, why doesn't everybody have a gun? Uh, what? Mm -hmm. anime logic. Everybody, ha just give everybody a gun. Oh, you can take. Oh. Hmm. By the way, have you have you found the Assassin's Creed outfit yet? Yeah, I yeah, it's uh. That's the thing. I forgot that they had a crossover with Assassin's Creed. Why did they? You know what? No, I remember why they did it. Why is he in America? Okay. Oh, <laughs> For some reason, like, I just, Japan just thinks Mexico is really funny. Yeah, Not like, fucking. Uh... Just the existence of Mexico is really funny in it. Like, itself. Revengeance, when you have Raiden yeah. in the fucking sombrero. <laughs> Yeah, it's really weird. All right, the fishing outfit looks cool, though. I mean, what, 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 that one? That's just a casual outfit. Yeah. It does look like a fishing outfit. I guess he it does kind of, yeah, he, yeah, that is a fishing outfit, actually. 
Because the boy likes to fish. Damn, that boy can fish. Autism be damned. That boy can fish. It's it, You're a fair bit of ways from the final. Yeah, final like, crossover. I imagine it's, I mean, at least as far as the cup noodle stuff. Wait, Which, fun fact, what? the cup noodle stuff only exists because Square Enix rents their offices out of the same building cup noodle does. That makes sense. Well, that's the same reason like, Kingdom Hearts exists. Uh, wait, what? Square Enix and, Dis and like, a Disney office used to share, like, a building. So Square Enix, oh. so people at Square Enix would share an elevator with people at Disney, I believe is the... Origin, yeah, origin literally, story. Literally, they did an elevator pitch. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, there's a cup noodle Dick. billboard right over there. Yeah. Yeah, like, uh, what was it? Right here? Yep. Yeah. Literally one of the first things you, you've seen this fucking yep. game. Eat cup noodle. Go buy cup noodle yeah. at your local 7-Eleven and get botulism. I, I oh. forgot how how uh ad crazy square is i know it's but like it's just this game well yeah you you know the reason why though right because they had to reinvest yeah they, they had to they had to like try to make more money back after this game was in development for like 14 years did you know that a huge reason why this game exists is because apparently <laughs> invested millions, literal millions of dollars into technology and how they render their hair. Yeah, I can tell because there is like very specifically uh, NVIDIA hair works. Yep. That's crazy. And there's like, there's some grass simulation stuff. Wait, do I not have, hold on. What am I doing? Listen. Some of this every, stuff works a little wonky, so, but, you know what? Every time we're committing. talk about, I, I hate when the hair clips do everything. I'm just like, dude, it's a video game. Who fucking cares? I care. Damn it. I care so hard. I can't, like, it's F in FF14, I can't have a glamour that clips with my outfit. Or with clips with my hair, rather. Can't fight crime if you ain't cute. Yeah, exactly. Uh, God damn it. Charles, who doesn't do glamour at all? I do, but this in-game stuff. Crystal and the King's Ring. You gotta do the the Vanguard set as glamour, because that's just its entire I, that's its entire purpose. I do want the healing set for when I get a healer up to like a hundred. Yeah, because the healer one has a cat mask. My father for a yeah, the, that mask looks so cool. It does. Very cool cyberpunk mask. Reggie wasn't born yesterday. Lucis got dealt a losing hand, and your old man played it the best he could. He saw this coming a mile away. Did you just call my dad Reggie? Go down a <coughs> you can't do that. Oh man, I Why love King. I love Kingsclave. <laughs> it's so good, and the best movie. I just, I just love that. It's you're better off not watching it because the game just feeds it back to you all the. But also, parts. didn't they turn Kingslave into like a little mini game as well? Yeah, it's also dog water. Yeah, like it was like Crown Guard or something like that. Remember the last time I saw Reggie? Something like that. Yeah. Feels like a lifetime. There was also a Final Fantasy 15 remake for like mobile in the Switch. Wait, was there an did Ultros? Did, like, a... What did I miss? Yeah, did I miss it's Ultros? Like, it's. It's low Wait, poly what? models and everything. Oh yeah, that's in this as well. They took out the. Also, did you know that? Remember when Final <laughs> Fantasy 15 had a multiplayer mode? It's still in here. I think people still kind of play it. No, the servers Wait, are down. Oh, no. can play. Yes, that's more <laughs> what I meant. Where is there? Where... Hi, where's Ultros? I didn't see Ultros. I wasn't paying attention. Cora left a message. Said he'll wait for you. Oh, okay. They're to the northwest of here. Go into the tomb. You can tell how much I retained from King's Clay. <laughs> Man, why can't I drive one of these? Look at how nice these are. 
It's like you I'm a... can't. You already have a car. Actually, it's yeah, if yeah. I were to drive these, yeah. it'd be like being in Fallout. You have a fine Rolls Royce. I'm in New Vegas right now. The only issue is that these cars aren't exploded. Yeah, you're not getting red from it. <laughs> I'm basically in the Mojave right now. Controlling the Mojave makes you wish for a nuclear winter. It sure does. Somebody made a mod where every time somebody it says that, a nuclear Yeah! Winter. <laughs> That's one of my favorite mods. It's just something we picked up after taking out some Imperials. Well, I'll be Crown City Maid. If you like, I can make, I can this, make this puppy better. Give this puppy boy. This guy talks can, like Brennan Lee Mulligan. Mod it. Look, I got diddly squat to do what with Cindy taking care of the garage. If you can find the parts, I can do the work for you. Remember when Square Enix sued a fucking porn company? <laughs> Down over that away, a Wait, what? For a fucking scraps. porn of Pick up Sid. Whatever looks or not, useful and uh, bring them to her me. name Sydney. Sydney. Yeah. That's fucked up. Cindy's oh. hot. Why did you make her like that if you didn't want porn of her? Because they like legitimately like. Look at this. True. I'm not saying it. What were they? Is, what were they expecting? Like, come on now. You don't make. Listen, the the Japanese always think just because they make their characters hot does not okay. mean. Okay. Now, counterpoint. It's bedtime. These are the people that mm -hmm. made Final Fantasy VII. Correct. Which spawned decades of porn. Also, the Italian Congress. And also the Italian Congress. That is very way, much a thing that happened. By the way, all these photos that you save, they're going to play over the credits. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> I want to I want to see how many I can save. And see how long it takes, like how many of them I see in the credits. There isn't even that many clothes to remove to make a not safe for work model. True. In fact, I'm sure if they rip the model, she, they she probably has nipples under there. Bet. Um, oh, you mean like um, how in, like did like in Watch Dogs Legion? No, like what happened to Elliot Page when he was in uh, Beyond Two Souls. Oh, fuck David Cage. Fuck David yeah. Cage. We, we say it every time. We say it every time. Fuck that guy. I hate that guy. My hatred for him is only rivaled by Elon Musk, but God, it's close. I hate Elon more because mm -hmm. Elon has yeah. power. True. David Cage has no David power Cage and he cried in court. Yeah, but he's just a pathetic warm of a man. You still here? But oh, either way, okay. I would, um, I cannot say that I wish them violence on a, no. on a platform. However, no. I think it would be really funny if somebody threw a rake under each each of them. It would be funny mm. if there was a rake in their general vicinity. Maybe in their and direct they just path. Stepped on. And they just stepped on it and they sideshow bobbed themselves for hours. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> I would like that a lot. That would be very funny. And it would cause them no bodily harm. Because they have nothing in their mm. in their skull. I like that you can reef. You have to like be extremely ignorant to run out of fuel All in this game. In. Yeah, it's very, it's very hard. I just wonder like why they even add it. Um, I mean, probably more for like immersion than anything else. Fair. I just like to imagine that somebody. But it's also specifically it's so that you could have Cindy do that. True. Mm -hmm. At this location. You can't have Cindy do that if you don't refuel your car. It's like, um... What's that character in Deadly Premonition who also does that? Yeah, I, was, I was about to say, like, somebody played Deadly Premonition. Yeah. This is the future. <laughs> this is the future of video games. Um... <laughs> Well, the, and it's, see, the funny thing is, is that that's what Swery said when he played Mizerna Falls. Because he just basically made Mizerna Falls. That game's good, Squid. You should play that. With a guide. Don't, don't, don't play it. Do not play it without a guide. <laughs> no, 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 that's, that's fine. I had to play through uh, Blue Stinger with a guide. Yeah, like, Mizerna Falls is a game where... 
you need to constantly be racing to the next objective. Otherwise, you're fucked. Oh, it's all on a fucking time limit? Yes. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. I played through all of it. It sucked. <laughs> cool. Man, Oops. I'm I'm gonna remember that I played through for the rest of my life. That was a really fun playthrough. It's just you and Val losing your goddamn. Yeah, mind. just like the the slow descent into insanity <laughs> as we got further into that game. Um, it's also a game where you have to drive a lot, and if you're not good at driving in video games, get fucked. But that's like L.A. Noir as well, like, that was a fun part of me playing through L.A. Noir, is just driving like a fucking maniac. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna tell you what my favorite part of L.A. Noir was. Uh-huh, was it, was it Vice, Charles? <laughs> was it <laughs> Vice? Gotta make all the jokes. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the reason I won't stream it. <laughs> oh. Squid, just get a black friend. <laughs> then it's, then it's no. fine. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Listen, I'm not against having a black friend. I have many, but I'm not doing it for that reason. Yeah, <laughs> it's... Hey, hey, buddy, uh, I want to pop over to my stream. <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> excuse my race. Excuse so people don't think I'm racist. That's what no, I no. did. No. Well, Ch you know. invited yourself, but also it was very convenient for me. <laughs> also, I had played through the game. I had also like do half the answers. That's true. Yeah, you you were you were a big help. Um. But no, like, also, like it's 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 no it's no secret that there are there there's a certain kind of humor you can do when you have a black friend. Like that's yes. that's not a secret. True. I I am a, a very much a student of that. It's untapped potential. <laughs> listen, listen, I learned from the best. <laughs> you learn from I've Wooly. Watched, been watching him for like yeah exactly. I've been I'll watching him for say, decades. Like, I was just like, man, Wooly found a market for himself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. One hundred percent. Like yeah, like Wooly. Uh, Charles subscribes to the Wooly brand of comedy where it's like. Yeah, I will. I will enable my melanin. Uh, my, my friends with less melanin Deficient. to to engage yes. in this humor. Um, it's a good time. It's cause it, cause it's funny. It but is also, funny. <laughs> but but here's the other thing. It opens actual conversations yes. that I have with you all, and you all learn stuff. Yes, Ooh, exactly. It's just a fucking crazy person. Yeah, like that. There, are, we do learn. Like, well. It's because part of the Wooly bit is that he's not really emblematic of black culture as far as he is in like super best friends canon. Wooly is yeah. very white. <laughs> as far as, no! as far as, like remember in LA Noir where Matt and Pat were wondering why black people like menthols? And they were like, hey, oh. Wooly, do you know any black people that we can ask about this? <laughs> like, like that's the kind of comedy that, that Wooly was on. Hello and welcome. What do you mean by that? Cookie, we've heard that Thank plenty of times. I mean, yeah, it's like, it's it's a term. Like, they would call, they're like, they would call... Wooly and Oreo, like Carlton. Just what Taco ordered. Yeah. Took care of that. She's funny because I think I still think Carlton's way more black. Oh, Carlton's way. He, Carlton's very black. Next, you're gonna say Justin Trudeau is black. Well. Uh, well. He seems well, to think he is. Uh, he. He. There was an attempt. You see. <laughs> he tried. <laughs> Didn't succeed. Oh. Oh, I, I, I can also make another deep cut. If anyone knows the name, Rachel. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I can't remember her full name. I'm gonna sit here and I nod. can't pronounce her last name to save my life. I'm going to sit here and nod. Also crazy how she had an only fan page. Yep. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh-huh. They, they got 
fired from her job. Yeah, because she was like a teacher or something. Yeah. Yeah. I, I yeah, I don't remember her name, but it was very much a, a white woman that was like, I'm black. Oh, you mean how there's like tons of like conservative accounts that are doing that right yep. now? Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, uh -huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. And they're forgetting to sign out. And yeah, <laughs> I remember. Oh, my God. I remember that one. Oh, it. it's happened again, baby. <laughs> 2016 oh my is just going to forever now. They, this is hell. They <laughs> just can't help themselves. No. I can't believe JD Vance fucked that couch. Do you think, like, he watched Pee Wee's Playhouse and he saw Cherry and he just, like, rubbed his. Yeah, and he was like, whoa, <laughs> baby! That's new! <laughs> <laughs> like fucking kink unlocked. I you mean I you mean I can get a blowjob from a chair? Wow. Man, man, I wonder how he thought about the big comfy couch. Cool. <laughs> that man's fucking <laughs> blood pressure shot through the roof. Did you see that photo of him taking a totally normal picture at a hot dog restaurant? Where he just I like that if you he just pulled up a chair to the counter. What? Uh-huh. God, these people are fucking weird. Yeah, they are. They're very weird. And they hate I like, being called weird. I like that if you point out, like, their weird actions, they get really offended. They get weirder. <laughs> like, like the whole, like, opening, like, thing for the Olympics. Wait. Where they were just, like, closing up on all of these, like drag queens and performers like crotches and people are like what the fuck you're being weird and he's like no this is weird and they kept zooming in more <laughs> do you remember i can't remember what this guy's name was it was like that one angry gamer or something um oh the traitors to america no i yeah uh, I, I i do think about the traitors to america list but i also think about the, the one time he took a screenshot from celeste Oh, and he was and just like it was really is, zoomed somebody... in on like the little trans pride flag, and someone was like, "Just don't look at it." He was like, like, "But I have, to. but I have to." <laughs> Do you know what happened to the one angry gamer site? Uh, no. Wait, there was a it got site? bought. Yeah, there was a site. It got bought out by a bunch of like trans lesbians. Fuck and yes. Just, like, and now they just post like a bunch of like trans lesbian essays. On I them. love our stupid world. <laughs> it's so fucking. I'm our like, world you know, is so fucking stupid. <laughs> fucking. Because the traitors to America thing. Oh my god, it's really so funny. Because it was like all these people that were like nitro rad and Ked Icarus, and they're like, I'm not even American. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, it's like, <laughs> like, do you, do you know? Oh, uh, man, that guy was, that guy was a fucking freak. God, I'm glad he got fucking ridiculed off the internet. Me too. Now Wait, is that what I did to him? I've always wondered why. Like, yeah, you know, he just, I mean, he just, I mean, he just, I mean. He probably he made up some other bullshit as to why he was stopping, but like really it was like, oh, he got th the vibe that everybody fucking hated him. Yeah, even conservatives were like, dude, you're going to mask off. You're making us look bad. Yeah, like not only that, but you're making us look stupid and weird. <laughs> like, basically, he was becoming the equivalent of the new norm, but for nerds. He was becoming like Tim Pool. Nope. That means something to people. That means something to y'all. Because Tim Pool or um other guy, Andy. Who's got ants in his brain. Uh see that you buy no more than we need. It's a bunch of bunch of bunch of right wing pundits, pundits and nerds. Man, they, they all blend together. They do. I've, They're the same person. I've never, I've never heard of these people a day. It was like, Ian Miles Chong. Was I used to I used to dunk on him way too much. Me too. I was in a I was in a quartering video. <laughs> I love that. Wait, I love that I for know you. That one. Hold on. I, I, I know. Is the quartering still around? Yes. Yeah. 
Ew, Jeremy, what are you doing? Yeah, Come on. He has, like, told you to give us his work. own coffee company yeah, now? Jeremy. I'll be sure to give you more of a challenge. Call it quits, buddy. Come on. Because when Resident help. Evil 3 care came out and there was, like, DLC to make, that you could pre-order to make, like, the characters look like their outfits from, like, the original game. Yeah. And it turns out, like, one of the characters, like, skirts was actually a skort. Yeah. Because she, like, bends down in a couple scenes and you can't... You can't see, see her, her entire... Fucking... You can't see her entire pussy. You can't see her bare ass... You can't, you can't see her, her fully modeled labia. <laughs> and they got, like, really pissed. And I just posted a picture of... I'm sorry you didn't get a phone. Yeah, like, I'm sorry you didn't get a... I really mad about it. I got so many fucking angry messages. I'm sorry you didn't get a boner playing this game with a giant mutant guy who throws tentacles at you and spits goo and shoots at you with a flamethrower. Okay, here's the thing I don't get about that. If you can't see the video game, you can just find it easier. Yeah, the, the argument about, like, oh, censorship in video games or whatever, it's like, just look at porn. It's everywhere. You can't escape it. There's more freaks out here. What are you doing with Look at Twitter for five minutes. I, we are living in a fucking... In a creep's paradise. Yeah, we live in porn utopia, <laughs> and you're complaining Literally, that you can't see Jill Valentine's entire clit. Almost everything that you could possibly think of, somebody else has beat you to it and made it a reality. Yes, it's called S it's called SFM. It's there. And and once again, we can all thank Elizabeth do it for this. If you want to see Ada Wong with a huge cock, you can. Yeah. If you want to see, if you want to see any of the Resident Evil girls with that, yes, I know the specific, I know the specific <laughs> links. I've got it saved to my I hard have drive. it bookmarked. I don't know about that. Oh, I can't bookmark anymore. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> oh my god! But, 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 I've got but it saved as my background. <laughs> I know the people. Yeah. I, I, mm, also, I yeah, sure games with porn in them are literally all over Steam. Also, they're getting better with every year. They are getting actually pretty good. I like, I was actually, like, thinking about this. Yeah, so um, this is such a me right. comment, no so feel free to tell me to shut up. Oh, there you are. Um, uh -oh. But I collect, so, uh, like, vinyl uh -huh. records. Uh-huh. Sure. And video well, games have it. started releasing so much of their, the like, video game soundtracks on vinyl. Okay, yeah. yeah. Like, we're starting to get, Down like, game soundtracks that I'm certain nobody fucking asked for on vinyl. Oh, 100%. Like Vex. Like Vex. Yeah, nobody, yeah, nobody wants that. <laughs> like... Huh. Who I the know. Fuck has thought about Vex in the last ten years. There, uh, so <laughs> there are some Vex freaks out there. I know this for a fact because I think Matt McMuscles, not that long ago, did a "What Happened" about Vex. Um, there are Vex freaks out there. Uh, I don't think the Vex freaks are buying a vinyl of the Vex soundtrack. To be quite honest. And there are porn games getting their video, getting their soundtracks on vinyl. Yeah. Do you even know what um, Vex is, Charles? No. It was. It's like a I PS2. To, it's like a PS2 to platformer. Well, yeah, I it's a 3D platformer with a really big, heavy focus on combat, and they really like. So. It's like Jack Two, but bad. It's like, yeah, they oh. really wanted to edge it up. No. Like, you collect hearts, but they're not like the little circle cutesy hearts. They're actual like, anatomical hearts. Ac anatomical okay. like, hearts. I, I do remember this, what happened. Yeah. I, I do remember this. I played that, and I think I liked it a lot, but that was back when it was new. Yeah, I was about to say, like, when I was a kid and I liked edgy. Vex stuff, was so it. cool. Yeah, because it was it, like all the adverts were like. Screw the princess, save the world. I'm gonna fucking kill Mario. Play Vex. And it's like this, like all the, and it's like, don't beat him up, rip him apart. And it's like his, like his big dagger gloves, like ripping things apart. Yeah, like Vex was spawn for, for 3D platformers. Spawn for hmm. like 12 year olds? Yes. 
<coughs> well, yeah, 3D like, platformers, yeah. You could easily tell... Because 3D platformers, platformers are for 12-year-olds. Yes. <laughs> you and could easily tell there was and like no one else. Nobody. That's why I like a hat in time a lot. Yeah, that's, that's why nobody past the age of 12 plays Mario games. Nobody. Nobody. Even the... I mean, I, who even plays Sonic? I, I totally didn't 100% complete Mario Odyssey on stream. I fucking <gasps> love Mario Odyssey. I fucking love Mario Odyssey. <laughs> that game's great. I'm not I even wish I that could... big of a Mario head, but... Fuck, also, I love... Hey, Mario Sunshine fucking whips ass also. Also, I still problems, have not overall. finished it. It's got some problems, but as long as I think you don't 100% complete it, you're fine. No, I... No, no, it's fine. It's good. Also, I think I can listen to Prelude forever. Prelude's like one of the best. Oh, I would love the near soundtrack on vinyl. I think they're the way. They're, 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 they exist and they're very expensive. Yes, they are. Oh. You yes. saved me a long trek. As somebody who I mean, has granted, vinyls uh, and I've looked into it, it's work. very expensive. Uh, Squid, have you heard the, um, have you heard the music for the near FF14 raids? I have not. You should look up, They're good. you should look them up, because there's one that mixes Kine Salvation with, like, Prelude. No, way to the, no, they do Kine Salvation with Prelude, and they do, um, Weight of the World with, I think they do that with Prelude as well. Or maybe it's just Weight of the World with Prelude. Okay, so yeah, Near Automata and Near Gestalt original soundtrack vinyl box is uh, it'll only set you back four hundred and fifty two dollars. Yeah, it's oh. uh, it's uh, oh, oh, oh. so oh. this is a little bit expensive. Um, the lowest it's ever been sold is a hundred and sixty. Yeah, it's expensive. It's a, it's a collector's item. Like, it's a collector's item for a very niche. I guess not less niche now, but for a, for a niche people, series. There's a guy I work with that... I don't know if how he hasn't gotten in trouble for this, mm -hmm. but he has just very graphic hentai modeled onto his fucking car. <laughs> and his entire, like, back windshield is literally, like... 2B spreading around. Oh my god! <laughs> like, full <laughs> asshole? I can't recall having that. Yes! Because one of my friends is like, I thought she was just, you know, clapping. And I was like, <laughs> no, 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 no. And we, like, literally I, I looked mean... at it one day while he was, like, well, getting into his car to leave. I'm like, no, look, you see your hand. She's spreading. Just, like, full <laughs> asshole. <laughs> wow! We don't even work at a place where we pay that much. So this man saved... A long time. <laughs> a long time. It was like, I know a guy who could put two B's asshole on your car. And he's like, I'm, you know I'm going to spend all Life this money that I could use to, like, buy a house to get at two B spreading her asshole on my car. To be fair, there like, is the two B spread asshole You're is a better good. investment than a house right now. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get more out of that. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, it. and it's like wait a minute, done. what? And I'm like, no, 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 yeah, see, you, down here, that's the push, and, and that here's, that's the butt. So if, uh, <laughs> yeah, like, at least you have a story to tell, you know? Yep. So yeah, and like, I literally I have to help. see it every You'll day when I go to work. I I've gotten like so like numb to two bees like ass. Yeah, me too, bud. Me too, bud. <laughs> just doesn't do anything for me. I, I can't remember I'm... how far into this game the bit with the behemoth is. Oh, well being is less important. You've got a bit to go. I, considering it was the demo, I would have thought it was way earlier. No, but literally it's scene for scene. Yeah. Why are you it's, bald? It's one of those parts that's bald. seen... It's, it seems like it's for a side quest, and it mostly is for yeah. a side quest that it won't. You can't progress unless you complete it. Yeah, I, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, it's very odd. 
because it's the one where you get the you unlock the chocobos. No, the demo. Okay. No, the demo wasn't just to show you Ramu. There was the whole sequence where you sneak around the behemoth in the demo as well. Yes. Like that was like the main. That was like the main like thing that people used in videos and stuff. Back in the day. Yeah. It was like, this game couldn't redeem Final Fantasy? They say after three really good Final Fantasy 13 games. <laughs> I will be I will be an FF13 defender until the day I die. FF13 is fucking good. Well yeah, FF13 I, is good. I I will need to replay the first one. I liked the second one. And Lightning Returns. I admire the chutzpah. <laughs> it swings wide, and I yeah, appreciate that. I and hey, that's what I want a game to do. I want a game to swing wide and fail rather than not take risks and succeed. Yeah, like it's like do does all of these ideas work? No, not really. <laughs> like the whole like everything's on a time limit, but we're still gonna have Final Fantasy ass dialogue where everything's so fucking long. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, buddy, I can't listen to you monologue. There's people dying. <laughs> hey, Squid, guess what? I played Mizerna Falls. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah. I, I, that's the entire game. Video games. I like video games a lot. You know, yeah, but it's, fun. but that kind of thing appeals to me because you know what my favorite game as a kid was? Majora's Mask. That's, yeah. I so playing, it makes sense. I remember but, but, like Majora's this... Mask. Good. I had this mystique about Majora's Mask because I remember I rented it from Blockbuster, and I didn't know you needed the expansion. Ah. Uh, so, uh, so I would just sit there with Iggy. and like look through the instruction booklet for like a week and yeah. be like, imagining. Ima all the imagine the adventures I could have with this game. Um, yeah, I, so, it, f it feels like history has been revised pretty significantly, because I feel like the image of Majora's Mask has been massively rehab rehabilitated. Because back oh, yeah. in the what day, is Majora's Mask was everybody's least favorite Zelda game. Okay, yeah. well, you have to remember, Zelda fans are also insane. It's not even that, it's that hey, no, most it's of the people who there. played the game were children. Who didn't understand the time mechanic because they were stupid. That's fair. Well, yeah, that's I, know, yeah. I remember a lot of people were like, oh, yeah, no, Twilight Princess is the worst one. And I love Twilight Princess. <laughs> yeah, who would say, who would say that? Who, I don't know who would ever say that. Do we have to get ourselves Luka. into a little bit of a kerfuffle here? It's the most boring Final Fantasy, uh, Zelda game, rather. I've played uh, I've played Ocarina of Time. I don't need to play Ocarina of Time, but again. I Sorry. <laughs> See, but the thing is, I also don't like Ocarina of Time. Then there you go. <laughs> Midnight does not salvage the game. I'm sorry. I'm not playing a game entirely for a, a trope of horny character that I don't like. I'm not into short stacks. Minda does not appeal to me. Wow. That's okay. You can be wrong. <laughs> yeah. No, I can't be, actually. I'm always right. <laughs> it's impossible for me to be wrong. All of my opinions are objectively correct. I, I curse you with Dark Side uh, Phil trying to eat ramen video. <laughs> um, the um, It doesn't have that's to. That's pretty bad. I don't, have to, I don't have to watch it, so. No, you don't. I guess you could like clockwork orange me, but. <laughs> How would I clockwork orange you? You would just get up and leave your computer. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you could just unplug your fucking Wi-Fi. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's true. You could kidnap me. That's just too much. Is it? <laughs> I say that's too much work. Okay, uh, that, is, gotta, that is that is a that is a lot of work. That. I gotta Let's kidnap a whole ass person. Nah, I'm good. I'm Gucci. This, this bit's going on way too much. <laughs> okay, that's fair. 
It is a really funny video. That I feel the video like... Where he tra did people not like MVC3? I feel like... I feel like people didn't like MVC3, but everyone loves you, MVC3. Yes. Yes, that's... Yes, that's... Uh, that's the correct... Yeah, you're right. Because you, MVC3, is fucking good. Yeah. Oh, God. Related memory. Uh... Have you ever seen Darkseid Phil's video where he does an unboxing of lightning returns? I feel like you sh What the fuck? Oh no. I feel like you've shown me that before. I feel like so, I've seen I, that before. So, basically uh, what happens is he, he used to do like these unboxing videos. Yeah. And because it was just... What the just fuck? Where'd his legs go? Oh, he's like a robot. They're like robots. They're not people. But he, he, he did this, and his fire alarm is going off the entire time. Oh, yeah, I, re I remember this. And he's just like literally having to scream over yeah, the fire alarm. Yeah, I remember and this. Like, well, these condos, they, they constantly break their fire alarms and they can't fix it. And they're just like. Ch change the battery, bud. Like, or oh, do it record another... the video now. Watch out. I was about to say, yeah, do it another day, dude. Yeah, just like you don't, you don't gotta be doing this right now. Uh, so, Mithra, I don't, I genuinely do not remember people not liking Marvel Three, but that's also because I, my the whole exposure to fighting games back in the day was the Super Best Friends, and they liked it. Also, yeah, yeah MVC uh, two wasn't popular crazy. when it came out either. But like, but that was That's also, crazy but also thing. like, I feel like people not liking MVC three has nothing to do with MVC three. It has everything to do with Capcom at the time. Yeah, true. It's like people didn't like Street Fighter four, not because Street Fighter four is bad, but because Capcom was shitty at the time. Also, Capcom kept trying to resell the game like seventy million times. That too. That too. But yeah, it's like, it's not that they didn't like Marvel 3, it was they didn't like Capcom. Because that was the Capcom era. And then Capcom, Capcom again with Marvel Infinite. Boy. Which was not only Capcom's fault, but also Disney's fault. It was very much, it was very much Disney's fault. I don't I mean, any plan of the time, right through Anything you can blame Disney for is a pretty good thing, honestly. I played Dark. I mean, I've suffered. You have. Ooh. You very have. I played Bionic Commando. Bionic Commando. Bionic Commando's good. It's not that. No, it's. It's not bad. There, there, just... there is, there is the hot dog arm. The hot dog arm. The, listen, if it wasn't for the stupid as fuck plot twist where it's like your wife is actually yeah, your, your wife arm, is your arm. Then take this game seriously, please. And if they didn't give the main character dreads for whatever reason, yeah, it was white guy dreads. Yeah, white guy dreads. Wait, was he white? I thought he was black. He's, I don't think he's black. Uh, he, he's white. He's, he's definitely. Yeah, he's definitely not black. How do I? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. How do I, I think not? This is one of those things where it's a black guy voiced by a white guy. Hold on. Ah, uh, I just got it. Oh, it's QTs. Got it. Get fucked, idiots. Wow. Wow. You guys are bad at this. You can tell the entire time. Oh. They were like. Wait, dude, why does he look black in Marvel vs. Capcom 3? It's just shading. Fuck the Christ, man. Yeah. It's the comic shading of, of Marvel. That, yeah, that makes sense. Mithra, I feel like that joke has been... I feel like that question has been asked innumer innumerable times. I think that's basically like the entire. That's the entire. That's the entire joke of Bionic Commando. 
it's it's like the joke of it does the so jerk off uh, yeah message it does it definitely does drill told me it Everything does so like obviously it does listen cortana, cortana knows what she's doing all right yeah she's very tender that being said there is one really good easter egg in, in bionic command uh what is it uh there is a boss fight where you fight this worm character uh -huh. worm like monster and if you were like there it is spencer you're gonna have to take it down you're gonna have to fight it and then if you fall off the stage and then it like reloads at the checkpoint it's literally steve blum it's like there it is spencer you're gonna have to fuck it you're gonna have to fuck <laughs> it <raw."> <laughs> that's <laughs> really good <laughs> that's funny um yeah. remember lost I feel planet like that was just like a Man, remember Lost Planet? I remember, I Lost, remember Planet Lost Planet Three. Remember Lost Planet? Just in general, cool that game. game so cool. Cool game. The first, the first game had a lot of potential and atmosphere. Yeah. I never played the second one. Nope. I don't know why. I just never got around to me it. Me neither. And then the third game happened, and I was Lost like, Planet Three. Oh, Fox. Me... Does it? I think yeah. it does. It's cool. Because the guy, the people who made it also made Legendary, and that's why I stood away from it. No, I think Lost Planet 3 fucks. It's not like Dead Space, it's not like Dead Space 3. I, I don't know, what what's the, what's the game that Squid's talked about? What is that? Legendary? Yeah. It Legendary! Was no, uh, no, I'm thinking of Lair, never mind. It was a... It was a first-person shooter for the Xbox 360 era, and it's, like, the whole premise is, like, oh, what if it was a military shooter, but instead of, like, other soldiers, you're shooting werewolves or griffins. Mythical beasts. It's like, Minotaurs. it's like B Bright. Remember Bright? I don't want to. Squid, do you remember Bright? I used to. Are you staying completely motionless as I tell you about a Max Landis film? At this point. Oh no! Remember Bright? I fucking buried these memories. <laughs> <laughs> remember? I don't want to remember Bright. Remember that movie remember that Will Smith an... was in? Remember when they made an anime of that? Yeah. Wait, what? Uh huh. They made an anime of Bright, and it was basically the same plot. Everything yeah. the same, except it's in feudal Japan. Uh huh. Man, remember Chronicle? That movie is unfortunately good. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes bad people can pull out something decent. Yeah, like uh, Stanley Kubrick. Yeah. He was very mean to Shelley Duvall. Oh, horrible! 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 Hor horrible. Rest in peace, Shelly. Mwah. I think it was really disrespectful that when she died, everybody kept posting pictures of her from The Shining. From The Shining? Yeah, it is really disrespectful. The movie that made her quit acting. Like, I would have more respect if you posted pictures of her from Popeye. Yeah. No, people did do that. <laughs> I saw people do that. Okay. Um, Popeye's been rehabilitated a little yes, bit. Yes, Red Letter Media very recently did... Uh, a video about Popeye, and they were like, they they praised Shelley Duvall as being like, that's the perfect casting for Olive Oil, because Shelley Duvall is born to play Olive Oil. Yeah, it, she was good in it, and I think Robin Williams was good in it. As good as he could be, for for, for, could for, be. for what he was given, yeah. Oh well. Oh well. I, I will also say that I hate to say this, mm -hmm. but there is one song in Popeye, mm -hmm. the movie, that's actually really catchy and good it's not the bluto it's song like, that where he just it's says the song. oh you're dumb I, mean, I fucking i don't like i mean i mean you know what I yeah mean. like that's the whole song though <laughs> i it's it's a, I'm not gonna lie it's a little it's a toe it's, ca it's kind of a bop <laughs> it's a little bit of a toe i'm like he is mean he's not lying here <laughs> i mean yeah bluto is mean that's true and he just has a part where he just like talks about it, like 
I ha I'm so mean I had a dream. I punched myself, I hey, kicked myself, and I choked myself until I woke up. Right out there. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> and I'm just like, on, God, that God, that movie that sucks. I could have just like God, should have just give that one part to David Lynch. Some people don't yeah, like the sins where he talks about how he kills himself. Yeah, that'd be sick. <laughs> <laughs> I would love that. <laughs> Put David Lynch in anything, and I'll watch it. I recently made a friend watch uh, Rabbits. Oh fuck yes! You should you should now make them watch Inland Empire because of the rab because rabbits are in Inland Empire as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I... And also, Inland Empire is a fucking great movie. <laughs> it's a it's a vis it is a visual treat. I love, like, all the stories that happen behind the scenes. Like, yes. I, 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 lo I love David Lynch sitting out on a lawn uh, with a poster of Laura Dern nominated. Like, for your consideration, give, give an Oscar to Laura Dern, please. Okay, did you hear about what happened with the horse in, in the Land Empire? Uh, no. Okay, so they so David Lynch requested a three-legged horse for one of the scenes, mm -hmm. and he was working with a like an, a producer that was like new to him. He hadn't worked with him before, and went and thought it was a joke and got him a <laughs> regular four-legged horse. Did he get fired? And, <laughs> and then David Lynch like looked at him and he looked like, and because Laura. Dern oh wait, I have French, heard this actually. And he was like visibly distressed. And he, cause he just like came over and like whispered like, you couldn't find one with three legs? <laughs> kinda, kinda seems a bit cruel, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> like literally like they, uh, it, they were telling David to chop it off of himself. I, like, he, <laughs> I love him so much. Like he, he was so fucking like, He's like he's such a freak, and I I oh, I just adore him. Okay, final like David Lynch story because I love this story about him. Um, so you've seen Lost Highway? Uh, no, that's one that I haven't Sounds actually. Like you've got a new business no. partner. Well, that's a rather glib one. No well, the guy makes there, there's Boober in it. <laughs> okay. And well, that, there was that a, relates to this story. I well, there was Boober and Wild at Heart as well, so. Also Blue Velvet. <laughs> also Blue Velvet. Yeah, I mean Blue Blue Velvet is an entire like psychosexual experience. So like, yeah, there's yeah. Boober, and I think that I think there's Bush in Blue Velvet, if I recall correctly. There might yeah, be there might there might be was, there might be Bush. Because I, I was showing me and a friend were watching that. I'm like, wait a minute, they got Bush. I'm like, yeah, baby, this is the '80s. Yeah, they they got Bush in this movie, baby. That's some '80s Bush. That, that's the whole broom. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's yeah, that's that's the that's the whole um what's the word I'm looking for? Uh sh that's the whole shrubbery. There we go. But there's a cuz the actress in that movie, this was like the first time she took on a nude role and she did it to challenge herself. Uh-huh. And there was like a sex scene where they're like making out and she she got sh like he moved in a way that like she wasn't expecting and she flinched and everybody kind of giggled on set and he did and then david lynch was like cut and was like cut now listen honey you were great you were fantastic if you could just take a good 15 minute coffee break i'm gonna have a chat here with some of the boys <laughs> And then, like, after that chat, the co-star, like, went up to her and was like, I'm sorry, I didn't realize how insensitive and rude I was being. I, I didn't realize how challenging this was for you. Uh, David, talk to me. <laughs> 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 oh, wait, fuck. I need to do a U-turn. I forgot to get gas. Because somebody, like, somebody made a point that, like, oh, yeah, David Lynch is, like, had mis has Midwestern lesbian ant energy. And Absolutely. A hundred percent. Oh, I love, I love him. He's so good. But we also, love weird uncle. <laughs> I love my weird Uncle Lynch. Where am I going? Belden Key. Yeah. 
He's, he's just a weird, he's just a weird crusty guy. He's just a weird dude that makes art mostly for himself and yeah. he found a way to get in I, to get a career out of I it. I love when he just tells people to fuck off when they ask oh, yeah. him to explain his movies. And he says yeah, like, it so on. as politely as he possibly can. But still stern. Yeah. He's like, no, like, I like I I love I think I've mentioned this a few times. But like the, he's once said, um, people after my movies, people always want me, always always want to talk to me about them, and what they don't understand is that the movie is the talking, um, and I I I love that, like I love his whole mentality with his art. He's he's great. Yeah. Aside from I don't know, I think there are, there's some, he has some issues, uh, yeah. mostly with women, but. Yeah. That's his personal life. Whatever. People fuck up. It happens. Yeah, it's, that's true. Remember that one time he put David Duchovny and casted him as a trans woman? I love that. And I love that David Duchovny came back and, and played that trans woman in Twin Peaks The Return like 25 years later. My favorite part was when he basically told trans folks to die. Yeah! Fix your heart or die! I told those people, and when you came to me as Diane, I told those jokesters, those clowns, to fix their hearts or die. I, he's, uh, I love him. He's, I don't know, I, I, I've talked at length about how much I love David Lynch. He's, uh, one of my favorite people ever. It's gonna be a shame when he dies, which is probably not that far off. Unless like all him, all of his, sm yeah, oh unless all of his smoking has like pickled his insides, <laughs> like mummified that, him, like uh, oh my God, that, like that Mick Jagger. Happened. There was there was a guy that that happened to in Indonesia. Really? He is literally a hundred and twenty-one years old. He is blind. He cannot bathe what or the do anything. Fuck? He cannot bathe or do anything. He has to be like hand fed, but he still smokes. I need that. I need David Lynch <laughs> to live to be that old. I yeah, I want to just... die before David Lynch. I want to die of old age before David Lynch does. He taught himself flash incorrect on purpose. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Wait, what? Well, da I, it's been so. So. You, so when people think of David Lynch, I think primarily what they think of is Twin Peaks. Yeah. And Eraserhead. And maybe Dune. Um, but David Lynch does a lot of experimenting with with visual art. And there was a period where he was kind of getting into all the different ways that you can produce visual art with a with a computer. And he he taught himself Flash and used it for what he needed to use it for. Not, it didn't use it correctly, but he used it correctly for him. And th and I find that beautiful. And I, I, man, I like that old man. He also makes. He, he does paint. He helps. Yeah, he does paint. And he also makes music. Yeah, he plays guitar. Yeah, I I recently rewatched the Art Life, and um, that that that's a good little, that's a good little movie i was gonna call it like uh like a biopic but it's not it's explicitly not because it doesn't like give any insight into really who david lynch is but it does in the weird little stories that he finds important to tell in this format it's very it's very interesting um yeah and yeah the the just seeing the 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 paintings that he's made like you you really get a sense that like yeah this guy is like actually an artist not in the way that like a filmmaker is an artist but david lynch is like an artist artist you know yeah it's so a lot of people i think always go back and like man what kind of drugs was he on when i genuinely think this is just how he sees the world yeah he 
thinks and has like genuine like questions about how people interpret art and visuals and i i don't know you don't really i'm, I'm trying not to sound like a fucking boomer but <laughs> wait is wait is the art life on youtube if the art life is on youtube go watch it i have a copy of it like i don't know just that i that David Lynch can make a movie about a talking monkey and interviewing him uh -huh. about, <laughs> about like him possibly committing a murder and he does it with a level of sincerity that you would not believe that the thing yeah the thing that gets me about David Lynch <laughs> as an actor is like Gordon Cole in Twin Peaks is portrayed with such sincerity like I think he could have been like an actor in another life if he wasn't like a director because like he he's he's very very good. Gordon Cole is such a mwah, perfect character. Perfect character. character. Such a great character. Yeah. Like his entire thing with Shelly is like just so funny. Like him making out with her in front of Bobby is like the funniest fucking thing ever. <laughs> I was okay. So I was showing Twin Peaks to a bunch of people who yeah. have never seen. It oh, thank you for doing that. And the entire time. They were just like, because this might shock people, mm -hmm. especially considering the conversation we had earlier. So I am, in a lot of mentioned. my friend circles, yeah, I'm the only like white person. For <laughs> <laughs> and they were just sitting around like, because there's like the whole scene wish. of them at the, like, the funeral, and they were like, are all white people this mess? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like Bobby literally screaming at the funeral and like... Fucking, uh, oh, what the fuck is Laura's dad's name? It's Lee. Leland. Like, Leland, yeah. like, jumping on the coffin and shit like that. Like, doing what the fuck? Like, white people kind of are that messy, though. Yeah, I'm about to say, like, when we... We break, we break hard. We break hard. <laughs> <laughs> we get real fucked up. Again. <laughs> we get... We don't break normal. <laughs> yeah, no, we break bad. Hey, Haunted. Oh, Haunt. What's up? Your What's up, brother? I'm glad you're safe. Monica. Thank you, hi, for the third the gift sub of the stream. A gifted idiot. Dustin is with her. Oh yeah, this character. Seeing her. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. How much of an impact she'll have on the story? I wonder how relevant and around this character will be. See, you know. Oh Jesus Christ! So you see, the director of the game did a really clever clue. Mm -hmm. He wanted to let you know that this character wasn't too important. And that was when he decided to make her a woman. And put her in NPC clothes. Suck <laughs> <Like> my joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, like, you know what, like, the main thing that has always been, like, a huge point against FF15 is that it is so man-forward. I mean, that's, like, a lot of Final Fantasy games. No. It's not really. <laughs> Most Final Fantasy games are woman forward. Yeah, like I would say, like Final Fantasy. Yes, six, six seven, oh, yeah, eight, you know yeah, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen. <laughs> like more than half of them. Fourteen, even fourteen is very female forward. Maybe it's just the ones that I've. Not well. Man. Not well. <laughs> I didn't say that. But they're very present and plot relevant. This one's all about the, listen. I love the sucking fuck adventure with the lads. <laughs> 14 does make it very impactful when it keeps killing off its female. Yes, characters. exactly. Right. <laughs> yes, yeah. that's exactly what it does. <laughs> You can take a look at them and just be like, your death is going to be so major. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be really upset that they killed you. <laughs> Listen, 
they're gonna bust out the whole orchestra for your death scene. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Moonbrita, that you were here for like a single patch. But you know, we have to have uh we have to have yeah, a character we have to have a character die to establish like how strong the big bad that you already knew was strong is. Honestly, Mithra, uh 10 does the Texas switch and it does it pretty well. It does. It's like, oh, this is Titus' story. And then Yuna's like, no, this is my story. But then we come up with a way to save her at the expense of Titus and then it yeah. shifts back to his yeah, story. It's, again. It, uh, yeah, no, uh, 10 is like, it's one of the best, honestly. It's one of the best, I'm, I'm one of the best RPGs, I think. I need to replay it because now I just keep thinking of it as Johnny Test. Yeah. That's fair. Marshall. But no, it's it's I, I need, great. Your I need to replay it so I yeah. can make more Waka jokes. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Grand Wizard oh, Waka. Are you excited, from the old are you excited the for the bonding of souls? these weapons which drain One your fucking soul mana that I'm, you do anything with? That I'm just always going to use? Is your birthright and duty. I, I, think they drain, I think they drain health, don't they? My duty is they, either, what? They, they do drain health. Yeah, so I'm just always going to use them because I'm never going to get hit, right? Sure. You know what they say about the Albed? Is that his calling? Forsaken oh, you know what they say about the Albed? They're bad for you, man. How long will you remain They're all going to hell. The king entrusted the role of protector to you. Entrusted it to me. Okay, I'm gonna get. Why we're gonna get through this cutscene. Now like, we're gonna wrap. Why did he stand it's like 10:30. Why? Oh, Why this is lie to me? very hard. hard uh, Noctis is very this... sad. I still desperately wish I could have been in that fucking apartment complex with Wooly. Just the cheapest shit walls and hearing. <laughs> so the race war starts now. <laughs> yeah, those shitty Montreal apartments. You would ascend for the sake of your people. Uh, Man, it fucks me up that like the best friends are now fully split up. Like, are is Willie still in Montreal? Yeah. No. He did move. I don't know where. Though. Matt's the only one. Oh God! Auto mod a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> I don't want. I don't like that I permitted that term. Oh man, yeah, same fudge. It's such a funny term, though. It is though. Will he still in Montreal? Oh, okay. But like, yeah, Pat's in the States, which is fine, but... Y'all need to keep apologizing. Willie's and Liam. What? what? <laughs> well, Liam's in Japan. I when Canada I sends people down, down south, they're not sending their best. Oh, I thought Pat moved to the States. No, Pat moved to BC. Yeah, no. Oh, well, I wanted to move there. I guess not anymore. Damn. I can't exist in oh, the same space. God. I'm about to say, yeah, it's a big space. You won't be anywhere near That's there. true. It is like very, basically multiple towns. Except, unfortunately, you two have a lot of similar interests, which means that if you went out and like anything. <laughs> Please! Do, okay, do I deny that or do I just. <laughs> I'm gonna. Yeah, I'll, 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 oh, okay, I, I allowed it. Just. So then just re <laughs> please <laughs> i mean be nice <laughs> Waka doesn't have a problem with black people it's those fucking al bed that's that's i don't know if that's true actually i don't know i mean they are like they aren't white They're disturbingly white for people who have lived in the a desert on a, yeah. I, I, Listen, we won't talk about the colorism that it's in nerd. Final Fantasy that plagues it to this day. Yeah. I am looking at you, Lise. We're not you gonna. Should be mixed. We're not gonna talk about 
Square Enix progressively... Uh, can I not? Oh, fuck me. I guess I can't save right now. Um, we're not going to talk about Square Enix progressively whitewashing uh, characters with melanin You're in FF14. Uh, every, every... They did it to, th they did it to like, Thankred, I too. Ain't... Yeah. Like, yeah, Thankred yeah, got yeah, some melanin like... post-Heaven's Word, and then it was just kind of gone. What did they do to my sweet Nubian queen? <laughs> <laughs> like, remember when Ishtola was, like, black? I do. Yes. I remember it every day, and I her, go, I hate... Her I hate sister you. still is. Oh, thank the Lord. Oh, thank you. That's weird. Anyway, Listen, no it's because Ishtola no died, and she has a corpse-like pallor, I guess. I don't know. I guess well, twice, case, twice did, technically, because like they were. Why did Thankred get darker then? What the fuck? I'm going I mean, Thankred got lighter post in Shadowbringers. Like he got melanin in like post Heavensward because he was out in the wilds. And then I need, I need you still to go back to the wilds. I need her to get. <laughs> Yeah, well then she, you know, what the unfortunate thing is, is that if she were to go to where she, like, belongs, she'd be going to a bunch of people who worship the knight. She should go back to where she belongs. <laughs> that's, you know that's not what I meant. <laughs> you know also, that's not what I meant. Also, she's a seeker of the sun. No, but like, with Runar. She, yeah. No, that's, that's, no, where, that's where she belongs. Ah, oh, right. A, tr a tree dweller. Yeah, and she's like, the, she's not gonna get more melanin being with a bunch of people who are like the fucking, who worship nighttime. Like, sorry. I'm hungry. Why does it always come down to piss and racism with you, Luca? Uh, it's because I'm very anti-racism, and I need to make that known. <laughs> please. <laughs> please! Haunted, I swear to God. We can't keep allowing this term. This particular model poses a mild to moderate threat. It sets a very bad precedent. Marshall, you'd have to be pretty badass to take that down, right? Think you're up to it? Does that imply you were also anti-piss? Yes! I have never been pro-piss. She's pro-piss and uh, piss accessories. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut up. <laughs> Here's where we go our separate ways. Okay, am I going to be allowed to save now that this guy's not in my party anymore? Seek them out and lay claim to the power they hold. You'll need it. And what will you do? Keep an eye on the Nifs. Find out what they're up to. But you should focus on your own task. I will. Okay. You take care. The game just saved. Can I do a manual save for the extra security? Yes, thank you. Okay. Listen, all that they do get fleshed out. You just have to play their DLC and pay Square more money. I mean, you don't have to do that now. The King. Well, the, yeah, the you just first get the all year edition. Yeah. Yeah. So, we're good. Um, that's the end of the stream, folks. That was that. That one kind of flew by, honestly. This is definitely the kind of game uh that I can kind of just play and zone out. It's definitely gonna. It's definitely gonna get to a point where I want to pay attention a little bit more. But for the time being, I can just kind of. Cause I've played it before. I hope you guys are paying attention at least. <laughs> so I'm not. Okay. Parts of it that you can tune out to, and that's just chill vibes. Yeah, I like, like I, I, like the, I like the chill vibes. I'm definitely gonna try to do a lot of the side stuff and like actually, you know, the issue I always have with streaming an RPG is the inevitable point where I'm like, well, I have to do the boring thing now. And that's like, get levels, get better gear, that kind of thing. Um, but I, th I, I, I want to make more of an effort of like, actually just streaming those like, chill kind of moments of games too, because they're important. And that's a good, you can make good conversation during those. Where you're not really interrupting anything. Um, 
Hey, thanks everybody for hanging out today. Squid, you were a real trooper being here for so much of it after streaming yourself. Uh. Real trooper. <laughs> You're a real VR trooper. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, Rose, Charles. I mean, Rose was here for like all of it, basically. Um, thank you for being Here's here. Some thank you to everybody who followed today. Thank you to Haunted for gifting a bunch of subs. Um, Emily Hive. Yeah, thank you, Hive. Hive, you're, tr you're, you're. Did I say Hive? Yeah. No, you said Haunted. I said Haunted. Yeah. Thank you, Hot. Sorry, I I saw Haunted's name pop up in the chat as I was saying it, and yeah. Uh, th thank you, Hive, for all the gift subs today. Um, I might stream tomorrow. We might finish uh, Call of Cthulhu tomorrow. We'll see if I feel like streaming tomorrow. Yay! Yeah. All right. I love you all. I hope you all have a wonderful morning. Did I take a sh Did I take a single break this stream? No. Huh. Oh, yeah. Impressive. Uh, I love you all. I hope you all have a wonderful morning. Real, real gamer. Over here. Real gamer. Uh, if you have a lot, all have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or night. And as always, keep your tummy warm. Watch out for turrets. And fuck Guilty Spark. Bye bye.